Well, welcome to the stream, everybody. I'm PCJ Law, and today we're going to be playing, um, well, I guess a day or two difficulty again, um, as Greece on the standard Pangaea. Um, so we're playing standard map size this time, data difficulty as always. Um, low C level and strategic balance, so it's a pretty standard multiplayer settings, although of course in multiplayer you play small map size as opposed to standard. Um, today we've randomly rolled Greece, um, so an interesting civilization. Kind of okay, two unit units and then um, a special ability, which is kind of handy for us actually. And hopefully we'll be able to make use of it. Anyway, without further ado, start the game. May the blessings of the gods be upon you, O great King Alexander. You are the ruler of the mighty Greek. So, we are Greece. Um, so, Greece's special ability is one called Hellenic League. So, city-state influence degrades at half and recovers at twice the normal rate. So, that's pretty cool for us. Um, I guess if we steal a city-state worker, we'll be able to then make them our friends and allies, like, I guess, in half the time. Um, but also then, when we do get friends and allies from city-states, we won't lose that alliance quite so quickly, which is always, it's always quite helpful, I guess. We might have to place a bit of a premium gathering some city-state friends, perhaps. We'll be able to make good use of that you know, if we're able to. And then everything else from Greece, two unique units. Um, one is the Hoplite, pretty good unit, I guess. It's a unique Spearman, I think it's slightly more powerful, um, so that's pretty cool. Hoplite's nice, it's a nice unit if you actually get to use Spearman. And uh, again, we are Greece and we're on deity difficulty, so unfortunately we might not be able to use it. And then the second unique unit is this one, the Companion Cavalry. Um, so again, that's just, um, it's an improved horseman, which is again, pretty cool. Is it an improved horseman? Can't tell, but it does have this great General's 1 promotion. Um, but as a horseman, on data difficulty, again, we're unlikely to be using it. So the two unit units, they're nice, um, but they might be fairly inconsequential to our game. And the thing that will be very consequential to our game will be this uh, special ability, Hellenic League, with the city-state influence degrading at half, or degrading in, yeah, kind of half the usual time. Anyway, we appear to have started on the coast as Greece, which is interesting. We are currently starting next to our stone, but we are not starting next to this mountain. I'm highly tempted to move on to the dyes to get onto the mountain. But unfortunately, we can't reveal a lot of land to tell us whether or not we're moving away from anything good. So we might just have to move up just to check that we're not moving towards something terrible. Which we're not. We've actually, by moving over, we get a fish in range. We actually get a wheat in range, another die is in range, and we keep all of this good stuff in range as well. So, I think we are indeed going to be moving over to this mountain. We'll be able to get an observatory in our capital city, our national college city, which will be really cool. Um, and we get to start on a, on a luxury, our regional luxury, which is not a bad thing at all. Unfortunately, we're only one unique luxury in the capital, which is pretty sad. I'm guessing maybe our, if we do have another luxury, it was probably down here. We've probably moved away from it. But definitely more valuable for us to go and... Um, Go against the mountain, get the observatory, settle against it. If another luxury is down here, we're going to be wanting another coastal city anyway, so perhaps we'll pick it up. It's a shame to be moving away from this stone, but I think the mountain overall is going to be a better play for us. So, let's move on to the next turn so we can settle our city. Okay, um, might as well have a bit of a check just to make sure there's uh, no other reason to be going anywhere. Keep scattering down the coast. Haven't seen anything worthwhile, so let's plant. Get a little bit of gold for this start as well, I guess. And it's good we've actually moved to keep a... Actually, we already had a hill within our first ring, but hey, we've, we've even managed to keep a hill within our first ring, which would be good for both settler production and for growing too, for the production focus trick. We'll go for a scout straight away, like we always do. It's genuinely... It's gen, generally, um, I think, the correct play to always go scout first, or the you know the chance of getting great ruins and the additional scouting information really it can, cannot be overstated, which is why we've gone for it. Um, I think that's all we got to do for this turn, so next turn. Keep scouting with this warrior. Uh, probably want to head up here. We can let, we can let the scout sort of double through, because this is really terrible terrain. Jungle, forest, it's all stuff that is going to be rubbish for this warrior to scout through, but it's going to be fairly easy for the scout to go through. So we'll wait for the scout to go get that. Keep moving up. We need to find some ruins. We haven't found any ruins yet, which significantly reduces our chances, I guess, of getting more ruins going forward. Or of having a good number of ruins total. Might be a bit of a peninsula around here, but that's okay. We see a bananas. Uh, we might be able to get another expand in here somewhere. And again, if this is a peninsula, this will be all safe settling location for us, so we won't be too worried if it is. Let's move down here first. Grab another scout. 
Need to keep scouting. Oh, hello, Kuala Lumpur. Okay, so cultural ally next to us. That's cool. They're hostile, which is not great. Are they coastal? I don't think they're coastal. They're one time off the coast, which is a bit of a shame because I think Wales might be their luxury. RIP Kuala Lumpur. That might be good. That might stop us from having an AI border here. Ruin. Okay, that's our first ruin in this game. Nice. Uh, we'll move into Kuala Lumpur territory. Fortunately, it's not great in there. Okay, so we've met a city-state. We could buy one of these stone, and I'm highly tempted to do so, to give us the extra production out of the start. Otherwise, we're working these flat grassland tiles, which aren't the worst thing, but it'll be better for us if we are able to work some stone for the extra production, which we are. I mean, it's actually, I mean, that stone actually gave us an extra 25% production for buying it, so we're pretty happy about that right now. Interesting here, I guess there's going to have to be an expanded here somewhere, but it doesn't look great. We're coastal, so you can make up for, you know, poor poor kind of food lands with coastal but still i mean it does just kind of reduce the impact of your game a bit because they just aren't good tiles and you just need tiles at some point belgrade over here we'll go meet them next it looks like we're a little bit penned in by the city states and there is kamahamaha we'll move into here see if we can spot any more ruins which we haven't we'll come straight out with this scout and then i guess double back round up there you'll see what's here Okay, so we've got our two scouts now. Probably want a shrine next, just so that we can get ourselves a pantheon. There, I, I I like to go shrine, especially as tradition. To be honest, you should probably go shrine as a tradition or liberty, so that you can have a chance of getting a nice pantheon to kickstart your game. I don't know what we'll go here, go with yet. It could be God King, for example. We could go for Stone Circles for a little bit of faith. I don't particularly like taking faith pantheons on deity because, you know, the deity AI are just going to turn up and totally wreck any religion that you've got a chance of getting and obviously we won't guess a religion or it's very unlikely but pantheon something like god king can really speed up something like settler production so we'll quite happily go for it if we can uh this warrior is in really bad terrain and i don't like it we need to bring it back at some point so maybe we'll do that in a minute and let this scout go and meet the world and then this warrior can double back through belgrade or something i don't know if we we need to think about whether or not we want uh, the scout already took a hit from the warrior, really. Mm, yeah, we, we our last chance of ruins is probably up here and down here. Hopefully there are some. It looks like this is all a bit of flat desert, which is going to make an expand around here really painful. But we also kind of need one. Okay, there's definitely an expansion up there, though. Okay, we'll just reveal a bit of this territory and then double back, perhaps. We got this extra stone now too, so we can go to working that. This is what we're looking for. It's what I hoped to gain by buying one, and then we culture border grow to the other. Should probably. F mm. Okay, phew. We we got away with this one, but we definitely need to get the scat out of here next. Oh, and horses, man. I was hoping this wouldn't happen. Our horses have spawned on our civil service farm tile. So now we're actually only going to get one civil service farm out of Athens, despite having one, two, three, four. Five river tiles, four of them have been covered by resources. So that's actually kind of decreased how good our river is, to be honest. But it's, it's basically at this point like we don't even have a river. But I guess it is what it is. We're going to have to handle it now. We'll loop this warrior back up through Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, Barb moved towards us, so we're going to have to back away. It's a small gap to squeeze through up there. Can we... No, we still didn't find Polynesia up there. We've got a little bit of space to ourselves here. We appear to be a little bit isolated. Ah, hey, DJ. How are you doing? Okay, so what do we do now? So we've got one turn until pop three. We definitely need another blocker unit, to be honest. We are quite shy on units to just kind of protect our stuff right now because this scout is damaged. This warrior is a bit far away. So I take a third scout here before we then just go straight into settler production. DJ says, I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing good. Thanks, DJ. Uh, had a nice weekend. Just kind of, you know, spent it hanging out, relaxing, chatting some friends on Discord for a bit. So not so bad. DJ also says, how's Mother's Day been? Yeah, it's been all right. I, I phoned my mum earlier. She's doing good. We, uh, Me and my brother, we paid for my parents' dinner today because it was Mother's Day after all. I think they bought a KFC, so they're quite happy about it. But you're not bad. How's yours been? If 
Bob is chasing us. Let's see if we can break out. Wow, this man's in rage though. Interesting. Kept Guru here. Go into this tile. That's great. We will take. No, this Polynesian scout's made it here. One turn for the scout, and then we'll go straight into a settler. We need to steal a worker. We can probably steal one from Kuala Lumpur on the way back. It's hostile, so I'm not like the most concerned about. I guess being friends with it, at least not now. I mean, I guess as Greece, we are like the one civilization that would be able to handle that, but we could. And then there's Belgrade. We could think about killing Belgrade if we really must. But again, on deity difficulty, killing a city state, it doesn't tend to go well. Um, anyway, DJ says, great, cooked breakfast in bed for my mother and my stepfather cooked dinner. We also got her a bracelet. Oh, nice. Very cool. Yeah, nice. What did you cook for breakfast? It's been a long, long time since I cooked breakfast in bed for my mum. Not really all that great, is it? In fact, since I learned to cook, I don't think I've lived at home. So, it's unfortunate. That's nice though. Good stuff. Right, I don't think there's anything else to do for this turn. We've got our scout coming out. Tradition opened in two turns. We unfortunately only found one ruin and it was a map ruin. I mean, there's this second ruin here, but we got warded off of it. Oh, there we go. A ruin. 90 gold. Cool. Something, at least. Let's see if we can get this scout to come and get this ruin. If we can maybe beat this Polynesian scout over, we might just manage it. And then we need to go settler now. Seems like the maximum we can get. Plus eight. Can we get plus nine? We can get plus nine. Cool. Let's see if we can steal Kuala Lumpur's worker. Man, this terrain though. Look at that. There's no way we're <laughs> getting out of here anytime soon. What are we going to do about this? I mean, this is going to be Barb Camp City in here, but there's not a lot we can do about that. We can't settle a city in here because there's just nothing to use. There is, however, definitely the opportunity for one city up here to claim the whales, two more of our regional luxury, these cattle, bananas. There's loads of great stuff here. That's one luxury. And then a third luxury down here for the marble. So we can definitely go three cities, although I would like to get four. We are Greece, so if anyone can make it work, perhaps Greece can, just because we'll be able to get city-state allies and thus, hopefully, you know, make something like four cities on three luxes work. But we'll have to see. I would love a city in here as well to go grab this fish, the bison, the, you know, all of these hills, the sheep, something like that. See if we can fit something in here. Anyway, DJ says, Venice plus deity city state equals... <gasps> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, you, you Venice take over one of them city states, get all of those units, buildings, don't lose any population. It'd be kind of cool. It'd be great as Venice right now to take over something like Belgrade. I mean, look, Belgrade's got the same pop as Ath Athens. But anyway, then DJ says, I've cooked some fancy sausages and bacon from the butchers, seasoned baked beans, toast, salad, and an omelette. That sounds really cool. Nice. <laughs> Finally, someone can make that for me. I guess I could try and make it for myself, but probably wouldn't do too great at it. I think we had, me and my girlfriend, we had a bit of a low-key breakfast that was just, I think, just eggs and um, bacon and seasoned beans, actually. And we did some seasoned beans, too. And then, uh, I think, a little bit of chips. Not particularly healthy, but it is. And Scott Noly, too, says, Good Stevening. Hello, Scott Noly. How are you? All right, let's next turn this before we spend too, too long on turn 15. Oh, man, all these... All of these units, this is wild. Okay. More fish up there. Don't know if we're going to use that fish or not. We'll see. Can we, do you think we can squeeze past this? Worth the risk for a ruin. Oh, the Polynesian scout might get in front of us. Right, let's open tradition. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be any, any reason to go liberty here because we still only see three luxuries. Got mountain in range, that's good observatory. Move on to the next turn. We need Kuala Lumpur to put a worker out. Oh, no. The Polynesian scout is unfortunately going to get that ruin. Maybe we should sacrifice that old scout for it. Don't know. Oh, Arabia. Hello. Don't actually know which of the AI civs that are going to be in this game yet. So that was Arabia. What do we do next? We'll probably go for bronze working. See if we can get some more production. Also unlocks the hoplite for us. But there's no way we're going to be tributing with deity and standard map size. Yeah, there goes the ruin. Let's have a look what's down here. Oh, man. Okay. Interesting. This is going to be a bit of a difficult one. Ah, Spain. Hello. Okay. Arabia, Spain in the game. <laughs> I imagine this sort of multiplayer combination. Someone with camel archers and someone with Spain. I bet Spain even found a natural wonder as well. 
Well, it looks like we're going to bring the scout back, or one of these scouts back. The warrior's coming back as well, actually. I was hoping to steal a worker from Kuala Lumpur, but I haven't put one out yet. Ah, Polynesia can already embark. Of course they can. Oh, no. That's painful. These barbarians are a problem, and we're going to have to handle that. So what do we do about that? Um, so I'm hoping that this rounds round so that any cities we settle up here can actually connect to the capital. It might almost almost be worth just like canaling it so that this is shorter or something. In any case, we haven't even scouted down here yet, which is a bit painful, actually. Since we're going to lose this scout, we might have trouble doing that. Rip scout. Well, maybe it will survive, but it definitely won't. Ah, oh, the Barringer Crater. Hello. This has not been a good start at all. I can't believe we've already lost one scout. And this scout is out of action. This is going to be really tough for us. Deity difficulty. Usually you get a lot, a lot of these barbarian camps handled for you, but we've got a lot of land to manage all to ourselves here, which is really not good. Keep going through tradition. Two turns for the settler, and then I guess we're going to have to find a way to steal that worker afterwards. Maybe this scout goes and does it. And barbarians coming in from every which way. We've got a settler out. What do we do about it? Did we get? No, we didn't get shot. That's good. Going over here seems a bit risky. I feel like going over here is a sensible play because we need to make sure to get to our luxuries. We can also go over here. We haven't got archery yet, do we? No. This is interesting because we need to figure out what's down here before we settle this, but we absolutely have to settle that marble. Let's go. No, there we go. There's Polynesia's land. Well... I guess we'll start. We'll put turns into another settler for now. Although we are a bit short on units around here, we'll have to bring this scout back. But we'll we'll try and build a hoplite or an archer or like a chariot or something later, because we do need to deal with all these barb camps. It's deity as well, so we're going to get totally wrecked by you know next level units coming out of the camps too, which is really not ideal. There's Tonga. Okay, what can we get for a pantheon? So. Our regional luxury is dyes, so we could get something for plantations, culture from plantations, but we're not going to be working too, too many plantations, I imagine. Food from camps doesn't look like it's going to be particularly useful here. Now, there was our iron. Good job we didn't move away from that. That's good. Fortunately, not much other iron around here. There is a bit of iron there. Belgrade's borders will probably expand to it first, so it might have been a mistake to move our settler up there, but we've kind of gone there now. What do we take? stone circles but it's going to be ages until we get quarries online i'm feeling i mean it's turn 24 is a really late god king too i mean stone circle is going to be like i mean we actually have a good chance of keeping stone circles for a long time which is going to be good for our faith we're going to get any more stone there is a marble down there only like two stone i know i quite like Wine and incense, cities on rivers, stone circles, gems and pearls. Production for fishing boats could be done, but I don't see why we take that. Culture of pastures doesn't look good. Yeah, there's not a lot, not a lot that I like here at all. Let's go for. Hmm, we've got a good chance of having our religion stick around for a while, so let's take stone circles. I'm not sure it's a good idea because we don't get the benefit straight away. But I guess we've gone for it now. But I did want to take the opportunity to get some religion while we were here. Hanoi, hello. We've almost got enough to purchase a worker, which is going to be really game-changing for us. Our apologies, we will withdraw immediately. Yeah, we don't intend to stay at war with Kuala Lumpur. Let's keep moving up to our proposed settle location. We can perhaps try and sneak by around this barb camp, make sure we don't take any hits. And this scout should be back in time as well for us to uh, escort this next settler downwards. But there's probably another barb camp down there as well. Um, where do we go for this settle? Well, let's go in here because I think our choice, to be honest, we could try and get this fishing range up there. 
which would require us to settle there. One, two, three. We'd have to settle all the way up here somewhere for that fish, so that doesn't seem good. We would much prefer, rather settle a lot closer to some of this stuff. We actually keep the banana in range if we settle right here. If we go here, I don't see any point in that. So I think perhaps here is the play. We even start next to a banana. We get all these resources. Seems kind of good. One cell closest to the capital. Don't, don't get to keep the jungle, but it's not the end of the world. Jungle did save us on the last stream, but we're going to be getting an observatory in our national college city for this game, so perhaps we don't need it. Okay, yeah, yeah, no reason not to settle because we haven't got a social policy this turn. Let's keep trying to get this worker back. It should get out safe, I think. I really don't want to have to settle, sacrifice that scout, but we might have to. Anyway, let's plant. Let's just, um, I mean, that's 10 turn growth for an extra production, but we're really short on happiness right now, so there doesn't seem any reason to, you know, waste to try and like grow on this banana right now. It's probably better for us to accumulate the gold and use the hammers for this granary. Should we build a worker first? Now, this is something that I've been thinking about. So I've seen, um, I've been watching some other streamers play Civilization V and one particular streamer I watched was building workers first in most of their cities. And in this city, it might be a bit difficult to do that because we have zero hills. And perhaps that's why we don't do it this time. But I mean, it might be worth thinking about. We need calendar because we're settled on a luxury right now. And I should remember that. When, yeah, sure, let's be friends. Um, if an AI pops up with a duplicate resource, we should definitely trade out for it straight away. Make sure to guarantee that for ourselves. Looks like we've got barbarians incoming, which is unfortunate. Hopefully we can purchase that worker soon. I would love to purchase it in Sparta, and I think we still do. But we're going to have to watch out because there's going to be a lot of barbarians hounding us from that city. So we're going to need to make sure to get some units in to try and like garrison and help it. Fortunately, this work has come back and we're a little bit trapped right now. I wonder if this, this hand axe is probably going to sit here and shoot us. Ah, there we go. Uh, oh, we don't have dice hooked up because we don't have calendar yet. It did sit here and shoot us. Okay. Yeah, these barbarians actually keep standing on this banana tile anyway. Um, we, are, we can't move the settler out yet, unfortunately. We're just going to have to sit and wait. But we do have legalism now, which is good. DJ says BRB. See you in a bit, DJ. So let's just heal the scout. Are there any barbarians down here? No, so I think we can chop this forest. We'll just stay inside the city. Um, I would go for another settler right now to claim this location. But we are three luxing for four cities right now. Although we, have, we, we are going to have one, two, three, four, five copies of our regional which will very much help. But we are struggling because we've got huge barbarian problems. So this fourth city might have to come out after the National College and we might have to spend some time building ourselves a hoplite and an archer probably. So let's do that. Might as well just continue stagnating for a while. There's no point in growing. Usually I like to use... When I decide to start growing the cities, I usually like to do it in coincidence with landed elite because it's plus 10% growth and plus two food in the capital. And when I have a granary in Athens... You know, you, you only need, you only really need to get a certain amount of growth before your national college, just enough so that your capital is strong enough to build it in a reasonable amount of time. So that's all we're looking to do here, really. So we can afford to just work maximum production in our city for now. Make sure that we, uh, Cape Town, low. Make sure that we're just in a good enough position. This hand axe, yeah, there's no point moving the... I mean, we might save ourselves a hit, actually, by moving this. If we move this settler out, then next turn we can slam it dead and capture our settler back. That'll at least save us a hit on this scout, so let's do that. Let's get ourselves a hot plight, because we need to handle all of this rubbish, and we're going to need a chariot archer as well. There we go. So we've tactically had our settler stolen, and then we will claim it back. Unfortunately, this barb is going to come try and slam us now, but we want to finish chopping this. Do we buy? Mm, I would buy the tile, but um, we could really do with purchasing this worker right now. So let's do that. Not worry about buying the tile. Let's just finish this off. Fortify there with the scout. Hopefully, if this comes over here to slam our scout, at least we'll be able to get a free free movement out with the warrior. And we got what do we do? We finished calendar, which is good. We're going to need sailing for those whales. So let's go take that. We want sailing anyway. This city is, I guess, going to be the one that feeds the capital. And now we definitely need to get well, get out of here. 
And let's go chop these dyes out. They're our only source of early production, but I guess we're just going to have to chop for production. Going to go this way so that we can get a little bit of scouting done. We did actually move away from a fish, as it so happens. Because we were here and we would have had a fish in third ring and instead we picked up this fish. We did move a bit far away from our iron too. We need, we're going to need to buy one of these hills at some point because we want to have the borders grow to this iron tile. Pop like nearly ready. Okay, shoot that. We're going to have to just do a swap for now. Start leveling up the hoplite and get ourselves a pasture so we can get one of those chariot archers. Uh, let's have a quick look. Okay, not a lot here. Chop that down. Uh, AIs up. Oh, I've missed the trade with AI. I assume I probably did actually miss a genuine trade there. We need another unit, but we don't need it yet. Because we... We really want to get... Oh, man, we could have gone for the wheel first for that chariot archer. Let's do that. We need another unit, but perhaps not yet. I mean, we'll get an archer, I guess. Or we can get another hoplite. A couple of hoplites might be good. Do we really want a couple of hoplites? I guess. I don't really want to build two, though. To get granary in the in the meantime. don't really want to build two hoplites right now. There. Deal with her and our Rashid. The dyers. Can't do an embassy deal yet. So it's good that this goes around, uh, but there's nothing here for us to settle, so we'll move the settler back. It's not great doing the scouting like this, but it's kind of the only way because of our the way that everything just kind of ended up, really. Let's move this hoplite out. Have we got... Yeah, we've got an instant heal next next time around, so we can try and work on this camp. We've actually got some happiness now, so we could grow Sparta. We need some production in Sparta. We did just chop out our one production tile. There's not very many hills here, actually. This is something that I've just noticed. We're going to be relying on... Well, not hills, I guess, for our production, because this is all flat. <laughs> so... We're going to get this locks online and then go and prove that cattle. Instant heal on the hoplite. Then keep moving this way. Growing in Sparta, which is cool. Uh, I guess we'll just grow it for now. Even though it would be kind of good to work the gold. Again, we don't really need the growth right now. Right, we need to scout down here a bit before we settle. Hmm, so what do we do with this city? We absolutely have to settle the marble, and the city state did indeed get this iron over here. We can go right here. It's I mean it puts us closer to bad tiles, but like you know, what are we gonna use this stuff over here for anyway? We can instead sit right here, stay closer to the cat perhaps. Still got this fish over here and we are going to be able to expand to the fish because the city is going to want to expand to the marble. We stay close to this. Got to chop. Some grassland. We're going to get all this grassland anyway. Seems like we're going to have to go here. But that's fine. Let's go. We are unhappy now. We can work these sheep and get a granary. This, I guess, will probably be our first coastal trade route but we're going to have to clear this barb camp to do it. It's got an early two. says coastal production trade in the future perhaps. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to need to be a coastal production trade. I think it's got enough food. I mean, a couple of bananas, all of these food tiles, the cattle. So I think that you're I think you're right. It's going to have to be a production trade route. Yeah, sure, friends with Spain. It seems like we're on the friendship train right now already, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Barbarian Galley already. Ram Camp Hyang, hello. We've met one, two, three, four. We've met seven of the AI now. Just one more to go. Give that a slam. Oh, that's actually not a, not a particularly good trade. Oh, don't really like that. Now, we're unhappy right now. Why don't we just do that? We can sell horses to the AI. We want one chariot, probably. So let's sell two of our horses, just in oh, case we want two chariots. Four. Perhaps should have considered the flat gold there, but we probably just need to keep our economy going right now. Um, Yeah. Then we're unhappy. Might as well just do something like that. Because we need the production. Okay, Austria loves us. Sure, are we going to be friends with you soon? Maybe. Um, Scott Nunley says, what type of map is this? So this is a Pangea standard map size. So there are eight sieves on here. Although it looks... I mean, it doesn't look particularly Pangea-y right now. But I'm guessing maybe the Pangea is all over here. With the rest of the AI. 
Whereas we are just kind of hanging around. Doing Lord knows what right now. We need to chop some more forest. We probably should chop some forest for Corinth. So let's do that. And this scout is healed. Cool. Um, don't know what we do with the scout. This isn't a good trade for us, really. So I don't like doing that. We should probably wait until we get an archer or something to work to continue to work on that. Just scout around here. We did actually give up a fish by moving over. That's bad. Oh well. Yeah, I don't know what we do. Maybe we might need this scout to block for Sparta. So let's do that. We're happy again, so we could definitely grow. This city's going to grow more than fast enough anyway, so let's take the gold. And then, yeah, we're doing what we can in Corinth. Chop this for some production, perhaps. I'm guessing it's going to go to Corinth because it's a bit closer. Yeah, it's a bit closer. We need a worker from Athens. Wow, look at this. Three barbarian triremes already. We're going to have a hard time sending these coastal trade routes. Like a really hard time. <laughs> And then we need to go and get this cattle for some production and then a stable ASAP, I guess, in Sparta. Ah, okay. So we're definitely done building settlers, at least for now. So we want to go for land and elite, get some food in the capital of Athens, which means we can now grow it. We've got a granary too, which means this wheat is a great tile to work. I guess it's a good thing that we're standing on it with a hoplite now. Don't know what this guy's going to do. We, we need that chariot in the worst way. This is a really painful start. Can't believe we're building chariots and doing all sorts in here. But we just have to handle these barbarians just as an absolute necessity. I guess we'll just happily take some hits with Athens to get rid of these triremes. Let's go get a pasture on that. Chop this down. Man, so many triremes. We're just going to keep working on this. I guess we can do it bit by bit, by bit this camp. Kuala Lumpur, I think, wants it dead as well. It might actually be in time to friend them. Let's uh, get another heal in. Shoot some more camps. This is crazy over there. Let's say hello, Florence. Got marble. Good. We've expanded there. Chop this out. Nice. And then let's heal the warrior. And Athens grew. Yeah, I guess we can work some more food because we've got a little bit more food that we can work. And then we'll just work straight production in the capital. Ah, uh, yeah, gold again. Definitely keep working gold. We need to get a workboat out of here. Oh man, this is going to be painful. How do we get a workboat out of Sparta and then a library? Tough. Which means we probably want to go for writing straight away. We need to get the library out somehow. And we'll bring this guy down so that we can improve our marble. So what's around here? Actually more stuff. Might just sacrifice the scout doing that. We'll see. Give that another hit. How long to this chariot? Okay, one turn for the chariot archer. Yeah, this guy's going to take two hits next turn. And then it's going to get killed. Oh, well. So much for that. We can instant heal this. I can finish this off next turn, actually. Or well, this turn. Which I guess we could do. But Lumpur wants it dead. But we've probably got another... We could wait another like five turns or something for this influence to recover, right? Yeah, four turns for the influence to recover and then take it out. Get the maximum from it. I don't like this start. It looks good on paper, but the barbarians are just hounding us right now. We need to trade for this ivory. Oh, we can't. I guess we're already trading with him. There goes the scout. Shoot that. Maybe they'll manage to steal a city state worker or something. Oh, we don't have masonry, of course we don't. Fine, we don't need writing yet anyway. We could try and sail a workboat around to Sparta. That might be a better play because Sparta is really short on production. So let's not build a workboat in there at all. We want to go straight into the library after this granary, so we should probably finish writing next turn. Then go for masonry. This is a bit useless up there, so we'll go and get the sheep online. And then this, we want to wait another couple of turns for Kuala Lumpur. But the chariot can help get to work on some other camps. Corinthus Granary is done soon, which is good. I guess we'll take Flatland Promotion and just heal in there. 
Kuala Lumpur is at minus five now, so he's got another couple of turns to wait. Just stay there. And then let's get another one of our regional luxury online. The trade gold for dice here with Maria Theresa, so let's. Our Sparta actually wants a We Love the King's Day for gold as well. And then a library in here for sure. 25 turns right now is really slow. The library here. We need to get a cargo ship up, but we just we just can't right now. We need triremes and chariot archers. Yeah, current can grow to a good tile. And then we'll probably give it these dyes to work for some food. Let's get an embassy to China, see what they got. Embassy of Arabia, see what they are. It's China over there. Already popped in Beijing, of course. Classic deity. Can we take out this camp now? Minus two, one more turn. Oh, there's a little bit of production actually from getting those dies, which is quite good. We grew here in Corinth, but we're unhappy now, so let's just do that. Masonry in two. We're going to get another worker out from Athens, which is good. Athens demands wine. Oh, we'll see if we can attend to that later. We're moving this chariot around. Okay, what do we do? Uh, we need to accelerate the capital, so let's move up here and then try and chop these dies out. We can finish this camp off this turn. So Kuala Lumpur, 50, and we decay at minus 0.93 because we're Greece. Brilliant. So we're actually going to have this for 20 turns, which is really cool. If we ever generate an engineer, we'll get that too. Uh, still can't build a cargo. Still going to need something like a trireme and a workboat. Let's go for the workboat next. This is a really slow start. It's really painful. This chariot can go up here. Need to try and break our way through these barbarians. So actually we might need another chariot or something. Maybe. Let's get the second chariot. This is really painful, but we're going to have to do it. Too many barbarians. What do we do? Trapping will let us build a circus if we need it. Optics. Maybe optics and then philosophy for lighthouses. Because we need to build a workboat from the capital as well as this chariot. And we still haven't even built a water mill. We can shoot this now. This is crazy stuff. Dirty AI when the dirty AI are not taking care of your camps. That's what I call this production in Corinth. That's cool. Corinth can get us another worker, actually. That'd be good. So that's what this early production can do for us in Corinth. Okay, Sparta definitely wants to work at this. And grow to, I guess, get a little bit of extra food, although it's not particularly great while we're unhappy. Finally handling some of these triremes. This is insane, the scale of barbarians here. Okay, one turn on the chariot archer. And then we I guess we need to get that white boat up. And I guess we can finish off getting our regional so we can trade it for happiness and bring this chariot down so we can take out this camp. It's just here in front of this. Butter grows definitely this production. 13 turns on this library. If we want to get this library done faster, we're gonna to need to unwork some food. 10 turns on the library. Don't know. Maybe we just let it be a late library. It's not like the capital's going to be ready anyway. I think it spawned another galley. So many galleys, we can't really keep track of them. Let's move up one. Wow, a horseman. This is why barbarian camps are so painful. Ah, oh, cool. Monarchy for two. So we actually got a little bit of happiness now. Sparta can grow a bit. Not that we really want to. Get a little bit of happiness out of this quarry. We can grow Corinth, and so we will. It's got an early, says 13 turn library, KKW. Yeah, Sparta's library is really, really painful. It's no, yeah. This city, not great. I'm pleased we settled it first because of that, but at the same time, man, rough. Can we trade for this sugar from Isabella? No, we don't have another dies up yet. 
Can we? Two turns. One turn. Cool. So we can make this trade with Isabella too. So what is it? What is it? Sugar. Or it dies. And then this white boat. Like it doesn't get killed, I guess. Let's kill that. And then the capital, what do we need? Probably, I mean, the water mill would be really good. We can't, we just cannot afford to build this cargo right now. Or can we? We might be able to afford to build this cargo, but we also need a tri room. Tri room and cargo, and then we'll see what's what. Shoot that camp. Lost fin 10. Pretty slow. We need to find this other AI. Yeah, let's heal in front of this. I don't know which Barbie's going to go into the camp here, but I severely hope it's the horseman. It was. Brilliant. It's going to make life a lot easier for us. We can bring this chariot down now. Of course, there's another trireme out. That's why we need a trireme. Improve those dies. Probably need to go and chop out that forest that's in uh, Sparta now. So what do we got? We can trade for this ivory too. Let's do that. Perhaps we could have gone four cities before National College here. I mean, the amount we've had to build in our capital, we absolutely could not have. But it's good to know. Oh, Mombasa. Hello. So we're definitely going to have to settle this canal city on the sheep. I was thinking about it before, but I mean, look, we just do not have a, a land connection around here. So we're, we really are going to have to go for the canal. More triremes. This is insane, Barbs. Uh, we, oh, we should we should have been chopping down that forest on the hill. But we'll go get this wheat up now. And hey, look, here's our first stone circles tile. And it wasn't even these two stone. Okay, Athens grows. Yeah, just keep going for production, really. Top six. We need some production right now. We even need a worker after this. Workers, cargoes, everything needed. Accept embassy. Wine for Marble. I actually want to take this because we've got a We Love the King's Day for wine. That'll help power up Athens a bit. We've actually got loads of happiness right now. Where's that come from? Oh, just the trades. Cool. Well, in that case, I guess we'll work this gold for a bit. Can this work? Yes, this worker can get through eventually. Well, I guess not this turn. Why not? No, we'll have to see. I guess the city state worker's in the way. How do we get around all of this? We have to go back through Florence. Okay, that's that camp dealt with. Good. There's actually a fish down here as well. So what do we need? Probably get a mine in Corinth and then go help the cap. Athens has got some wine, so that's good. We, loves the ki we love the king's day. That seems to have halved the amount of um, time it takes for us to grow, which is pretty cool. That is what we had hoped for, I guess. This is why I was hating about stone circles, by the way, because we're still not working stone circles tiles right now. It's turn 58. I did try it for the stone circles, but yeah, it's not proved out to be any good for us whatsoever. We need to move there and then shoot and then uh, take cover and move along and then slam. This white boat can continue to move around. We'll eventually get that tile up. We need to chop this forest down in Sparta. Let's get a mine before getting another one of our regional. Okay, so we're slowly working on these barbarians. That's why we've got the chariot archers. Chariot archers are great for handling barb camps. Unfortunately, we, we need to get this camp up here afterwards for Belgrade as well. Yeah, yeah, let's be friends. We're definitely on the friendship train right now, which is a good sign. We just need to have gold now. <laughs> oh, shooting hit. There's another barb over there. Jeez, this is a Prada. Hello. Might be able to do something with that. Now, this warrior probably just wants to be left here to make sure we don't get any more barb camps spawn. There's a crab out there. So that's another city. We might have some cities to settle off of our own coast here, which is kind of cool. I like I like the sound of that. There's definitely a city, maybe a city to be settled down there. We're going to have to explore it with a tri ring. We are going to have to make sure to try and... No, I, don't, I don't know, but barbarians spawning in this area is going to suck pretty hard, though. We need to be sending cargoes around for current, but... Okay, it's a one-tile island, so unfortunately we can't settle that. Let's go try and make our way through Florence and then chop this hill down. Chop that. Oh, should we? That's, you know, Sparta's going to need that. We shouldn't chop this at all. Sparta is definitely going to need that for production in the later game. 
There is for Prada. Interesting. Don't know if we can justifiably settle that. There's just not a lot of food around it, although I would very much love to. I mean, there's actually a whales and two fish. Make our way through Florence. Yeah, so we can't knock that down, unfortunately. Let's go do that. And let's buy this tile to grow to. We want this extra food right now. And chop this down for the cap, and then we can go do some stone circles tiles. This chariot can finally deal with this trireme. We actually need to bring our trireme back. Hector wants us to acquire iron. We can definitely do that. Do we acquire iron right now? Probably. It's like trade one for one GPT or something. Because then we can get allies with Cape Town straight away and that'll be allies with the mercantile city-state which will really help our growth. And the Maya, the last AI. Okay, cool. So we appear to have met everyone, which is interesting. Iron connected for Cape Town, brilliant. So we're not that ally yet because Arabia is, but we're only 17 away right now. We've got 78, 78 influence. So that two food is going to be in our capital for a long, long time. We're going to get these whales now too. Yeah, we need to help the cap. So let's, um, let's plop one turn in here just to be efficient with our movement. And then this chariot archer can go where? Probably you want to try and take out this barb cap now. The one that's up there. So let's go this way. Need to get another trireme as well. Oh, that's what I was thinking about. We need another trireme for sure. One turn trapping. Chop this down. Cool. Speed things up a bit in Athens. And then I guess we need to go library. We can build a trireme perhaps in Corinth. And then, yeah, one trireme. Oh, no. One trireme and then perhaps a cargo ship. Take down that camp. Cool. So that's the camp down. Got these whales up. Which is good. Need to bring this trireme back to protect whatever cargo we're going to send. Oh, the mile were up there, so we were totally going in the wrong direction. Need to probably improve a hill. Yeah. Let's come along and get these dies up for some more happiness. We've got another worker out here. So we can probably just get some more food for current because we've got our one production tile right now. We don't need any more just yet. Now we've got trapping. Let's get construction. And then we'll probably go for engineering. Because we are coastal without much river. Which means that third cargo ship is going to become pretty valuable to us. Can actually... Uh, yeah, let's work together. Uh, I believe we're already trading with Austria. So let's trade away our whales for copper. Corinth actually wants whales for We Love the King's Day. That's really strange. I anticipated that. Okay, so we need to stay here to stop more camps spawning in that location. Got the city state of Almaty. And then let's get this hill up. Probably move back with this dry room now. We need to sell that last horse and get a lighthouse here. That's going to be production too. Let's sell this one horse to Isabella. Saludos. We're going to keep doing it for GPT right now just because um, it is more in the long run. And that's what we need. Oh, this camp got cleared. Yeah, this camp's been cleared because Belgrade has lost its... Um, it actually cleared it for itself, I think. And let's go to... Let's actually send this from Athens. Can this trireme protect it? Yeah, let's actually send this from Athens to Sparta. Because Athens is kind of growing enough right No, to Athens to Sparta. Athens to Corinth. And then Corinth's one can go to Athens. And what do we do? Are we going to get construction to... <laughs> Scott Nolly says this land is painful. I agree. Actually, it's funny. The the one game that I've played since our previous stream in private, I got a turn 173 science victory as five five city Songhai, and then you know on stream we get we get landed with this. But hey, I like tackling the uh, the challenging games, which of which this is definitely one. Can we grow one? We actually can't. Can we? Can we? No, we actually can't grow one right now. All right, well it's fine. We'll, in two turns, we'll grow onto this. I guess we'll put a turn into a road on that tile and then move in. Yeah, Sparta is growing perfectly fine by itself, so we don't need to worry about its growth. We need to worry about its production, which is why a lumber mill here is going to be absolutely crucial. 
And then after National College, we need to get a settler in here. So we should use one of our other cities probably to build the settler. I'm thinking Corinth once we've had it grow a couple of times. It's such a late national though. So bad. But we've met all the dirty AI, so that's hopefully going to carry our sights along a little bit. Let's bombard that again. This Trium is now in to protect. How do we... We can't really get vision on this island, which is going to suck. Because if that spawns a barb camp, that's going to be really bad. Yeah, so the whole point of doing this is to get productive. In fact, we would kind of like the faith, but it's just not going to be worth it for any... You know, it's just not going to be worth it, that faith. That's more happiness, isn't it? Yes. That's production for Athens, though. That's good. Let's make sure Athens is working this as its hill, which it is. We're actually going to grow in one, but we've got another hill. Could at this point buy the iron. Is any city expanding to the iron? Nine turns here. Probably want to save the gold then. Yeah, the city state cleared its own barb camp quest. It's unfortunate. Mombasa doesn't have a barb camp quest, unfortunately. And then we go in here for the lumber mill. Kuala well, Lumpur doesn't have a barb camp quest. I was hoping to be able to clear more barb camps for city states. Now we've got all these units out, but it just hasn't become the case. Okay, mine. Uh, we can get some more stone circles. We've got a lot of workers down here right now. That's good. We're actually up to five workers, which is cool. I guess we, um, we can move in for... We need production in Corinth, but maybe we go for this road. Road. Let's jump up here for the hill. And we've got another trireme to protect our stuff, which is good. So we'll just come sit, I guess, here. We can actually take this out and then sit there. Sparta grows. Yep, definitely work that tile. Don't really want a road right now, but... I guess we probably should improve another mine. Ah, oh, cool. Um, We got gifted a composite bowman. Who? The unit from Hanoi. Nice. Okay. A composite bowman gift. Always nice. Like that. We've got an upgrade for the trireme. Let's just take that. We can actually sit right here with this trireme. That's going to stop anything from spawning on that island. Bring this chariot back. We could build a road here in Athens. Do we want that? Probably another... Maybe a road while we're on the hill. Um, and then let's uh, lumber mill this. And we can finally take this wonder building policy. Finish tradition turn 69, which is not the worst thing in the world with three cities. So now we get aqueducts everywhere, which is really cool. Probably grow in one in this city. We can. We can grow in a little while in the capital. So hopefully the growth starts to take off. Finish up some of these roads. We'll finish this road here and probably move this along. And then I don't know, do some other shenanigans or something. Finish this road then, move this along to start a road. This is finished the road. Finish the road here. Can we move up into... Yep, we can move up into the hill. This is what we're going to do. And then this trireme can just sleep in this location. Don't need to do anything fancy. Got a combo. Corinth has grown again. Might be some more production. Athens. Okay, library done. National College type. Hanging gardens. If this is still here, we have to go for it right now. We're definitely going to need all the help we can get. It's going to be a really late national. We are going to have an observatory city, perhaps. Maybe that's the justification we can make. We've got the road here. We finished this road now. This worker can come, can come back and get us another hill. And then this is done with a road. What do we do with you? Probably just um, go get another hill up. That was a total waste of a movement point there, but oh well. So what do we do? Um, we've only got three luxuries. We've got marble, we've got our own dyes, and we've got whales. We've got a lot of happiness right now because we've got loads of trade. Mind that. Worry this. We're connected up with Corinth now, which is good. We're going to be getting some gold per turn from that. We've only got six, actually. It's pretty rubbish considering we're in Golden Age. We need to get another settler out. We'll do that in Corinth right off the cargo ship. Is Sriprada happiness? Sriprada is happiness. So maybe we go five city Greece right now. We settle one city in here right on the sheet for this canal. And then we settle right there for fish, fish, whales, and Sriprada. And we just, just roll with it. It's probably the best way to describe it. Five cities, four luxuries. Pretty bad. Um, but 
you know, we're a bit behind in this game. You know, even an observatory capital is going to be tough. And a research agreement. Nice. We don't want to send, we don't want to sign too many of those, but one is certainly going to be good, especially with the score leader. Now we can get a road in here and we can continue roading this. Bring our chariot back. Is that Polynesian army coming towards us? Guys and gold with Maria Teresa ended. Okay, we need to handle that. Yeah, we'll take this tile now. Guys and gold with Maria Teresa. Hello? Is that really Polynesian army? Really? Surely not. Really? I mean, I don't like the look of that. Is there anything we can do to stop it if that is Polynesian army? Now Rashid. Apparently not. I mean, if that's Polynesian army, there's nothing we can do about that. I mean, there's only three units, which means that we won't die because we've actually got units because of all of our barbarian problems. But that's very, very weird. Really? Sai so Sachin and I got taken by Austria. Okay. Instrument. So much for Ram. I'm, I, I swear in the last stream that I played, Ram was getting tightly wrecked by someone else as well. I don't know what all of this is doing at all. But, you know what, we'll let it be. Okay, Athens grows. Yep, another hill. Short. Sure. Oh, um, Scott Nolly says stream froze. Um, let's have a look. So, apparently... Okay, we're back. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I'm checking the thing, and it doesn't say that we've dropped any frames, but that doesn't mean that something didn't happen, I guess. But it, it seems to say that we hadn't dropped any. Um, okay, metal casting next for sure. Glad we're back in any case. This cargo is nearly done, which means we need to go and get our settler. Yeah, that's much Machu Picchu. I wouldn't want to put all of this, all of these turns into hang gardens and then not get them, not get it at this point. We then need to build our national in the capital, which means if we want another settler, it's got to come out of this city. I think that's fine though. We can use Sparta to build a settler. Let's go try and chop this out, I guess, and we'll just ride this. This cargo is done, so straight to Athens for food. Can we bring hang gardens down? No, we need eight for that. Get the settler. We actually might just build both settlers from this city. No, we, 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 we can probably get Sparta to contribute. And then this can just build this next cargo ship. Because our new city is definitely going to need support. It's going to be really rough if we lose hang gardens now. So let's hope we don't. It's going to be pretty game-changing if we keep it, so... This is why we're going for it against our better intentions. Because we're just going to need all the help we can get. Building hang gardens in the capital will mean that we don't have to send a second cargo to the cat, which means we can afford to send a cargo to Sparta, to Corinth, to this expand, and to this expand. Which is absolutely what we want. Let's do that. We need to improve this iron, but we'll do that with one of these other workers, I think. Good stone circles is actually doing something now. We grow in one. 3.2 required. Probably not. Not without costing ourselves hang. Actually, probably probably can. Yeah, we still get a hang garden, so we're growing one. Sparta's building the settler now, that's fine. Connected a road to Sparta. It's good, that's gonna keep our gold up. And hang gardens. Wow, nice. That is actually a pretty big win for us. A free garden. And then the plus six food to stop us from having to send a second cargo to the capital. Which is a pretty big win. And let's probably start pre-building this road down. Yeah, where do we do? We'll just start in here, I guess. And we'll get this mine online. And now for the National College. Can we bring it down a turn at all? We need 16 production to do that. So no. Okay, fine. Well, we'll just keep working this food. That's going to be a turn 82 National College on <laughs> three cities. RIP. Okay. Friendship expired with Polynesia. Let's get that back, I guess. Keep on the friendship train. Okay, where do we put our spy? So, Mombasa is here. But also, we could put our spy in Cape Town, where we are at 54 behind Arabia. That's got gold. We could put our spy in Hanoi. Militaristic city-state. They've got wine. Or we could try and spy on Kuala Lumpur for the culture. 
I am leaning towards Kuala Lumpur for the culture, unless Florence seems like a better idea. But Spain has got 116 influence over us on Florence, whereas no one is influential over Kuala Lumpur. And because we're Greece, it's going to be a lot easier for us to keep it. So let's go for Kuala Lumpur. We're definitely going to need the culture to get through rationalism faster. Going to grow next turn in Athens. That's good. We actually can't get through here right now. But if we wait for open borders with Spain, we'll be able to get out eventually. Oh, here we go. Open borders. There we are. So we can explore through Spain's territory. Get a mine on here. And then keep doing this road for our settlers. Mine. Okay, so this settler can, I guess, come for here. And then this one can swim across the ocean to go for Sprada. We're going to need an escort. So we'll take our... We'll use this chariot archer to go and clear the way for the Sprada city. And then this composite bowman can uh, just make sure that this area is garrisoned. Grew in the capital. That's great. Lots of production right now being worked. That's good. Don't mind that. And start growing current in a minute, but we probably want to. As that two turns, we get this down to one, four point four five. Probably not then. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, growing one, I guess. Yeah, that's this is where Greece's ability comes in right now. Is being able to get Kuala Lumpur, and we need to build workshops in a minute too. Golden Age ends. We are only in plus one gold per turn now, which is pretty painful. Got this iron. Just get some more farms up around Corinth. Keep growing it for a little while. We're going to need Corinth to be strong to help us. Would have been nice to go collect a maritime ally, actually, but it just doesn't seem to... Don't know. We value culture perhaps a little bit too much. Metal casting? Cool. No, we don't want to attack the city-state unit. Just let, just, just let us move. Here we go. Another mine up. Probably should get a civil service farm up for Athens now and move towards civil service. Maybe horsebacks and then currency and then civil. Workshop in Athens next. And then we'll keep moving this along. Sugar and dyes with Isabella finished, so we need to get that deal back. Saludos. Lots of trades going on right now, thanks to all of these regionals that we had. We expanded to this fish in the capital. It means we need a lighthouse. We need a lighthouse here as well. We've got a lighthouse here. Here we need a workshop. That's going to take ages. Um, don't know if we can afford that research agreement yet. Okay, and this comes. Keep swimming round. Now what do we need to do here? Um, we need to give Sparta some help. So, I don't know, we'll put a farm down on this tile up here and just work it for the production. Guess that's about all we can do. What other deal ended? Ivory and dies with Kamehameha. Okay. It's Kamehameha. Ivory. Oh. He doesn't want the dies anymore. But we can trade him for iron. So let's do that. Keep this deal going before he gives it away to someone else. And, okay, China actually wants our dies now. I guess we've got a spare one. So why not try and give that away for eight? And then also trade away this last iron. We might have made a bad... Uh, I don't know. I was going to say for a moment, I was contemplating whether or not we actually made a mistake by trying to settle these two extra cities. But I am not sure we have. Just because we could have frigated Polynesia. But we don't have the production in our cities to frigate anyone right now. So... Yeah, definitely, definitely no mistake there. This can get in the water. Wine and marble from Harun al-Rashid ended. We need to get that back. Uh, where's Harun gone? Oh, it was, oh, it was, it was a spare wine. We're going to have to buy that now. No, he's actually he's going to do nine. That's unfortunate. Okay, make a proposal. Let's propose World's Fair. So everybody loves us. Oh, okay. Athens has got plus 20 food right now. 
That's actually quite good because we're working a lot of hills as well. We're going to get a little bit more from civil service when we do that. And this cargo ship can go to Athens. The workshop will be done next turn so we can send it to whichever place that we like. We need to buy these hills, so it's a good job we held on to the gold actually. Let's perhaps even try and buy one next turn. We've got 13 happiness, which we're going to need for when we settle all these cities. Let's get this city in for the canal. Let's have this trireme sit here. Athens is going to grow. We can production focus trick that out one out. We need to get workers over to these new cities as well. So we're going to have to spend some time building those. Again, that's going to, I guess, Corinth is going to be relied upon to do that. Yeah, we need to buy this hill. Make sure we've got as much production as we can in Corinth right now, because it needs to help our, our capital out with production, because the cap is running out of time. Okay, so in the capital, what do we do? Um... Let's work this workshop slot 18 turns because we've already got a garden thanks to the hanging gardens. So um, 18 turns we might be able to snag a wonder. It would be quite nice if we could get something like Taj Mahal. But in any case we'll save it for the ideology wonder if need be. What else do we need? We could do with a market because we are really short on gold. We also need a stoneworks. And this can just wait. Um, in fact we found this city right now right? Yeah there's no reason not to. Canal City, Scott Nolly says plus one. Yep, absolutely, Canal City, so that we can start sending production and stuff to Sparta. In fact, yeah, so Sparta needs help right now. Everything we've got needs help. Let's buy this tile for Sparta. And let's straight away go into, I guess, a lighthouse, since we're not going to need to feed anything with anything. This needs to be production to... I guess the next one can be production to Sparta, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, no, maybe this one. Let's just send this one as production to Sparta, because Sparta is really short on production. And now Sparta will be able to help us out, too. And then... We'll send our next couple of cargoes to Argos and whatever this new city name becomes. Okay, more food there. We'll grow here in a couple of turns. Corinth growing in a couple of turns, but we want to work the marble or this new hill. Going to need to purchase some more tiles. This new city over here will purchase Shraprada with our 75 gold, I guess, once it gets there. Argos is just going to have to make do by itself for a while. But we can chop this forest down, and then we'll move to finish the road. We need to get one more worker over there. So we should build one somewhere. Probably Sparta, worker. Right after the workshop. Getting this workshop out is going to be pretty big for Sparta because we can work it. And this worker can also move around to Argos. Ambassador doesn't want a bar camp cleared, unfortunately. We could send a cargo ship to um, Mombasa to get allies with these guys. Because it's going to give us plus one food in all cities, which is good distributed food. There's actually no way really to get anything out of this. Is it? We also need a lighthouse here. And in Corinth, we're getting a lighthouse and then we need to get like a workshop and then all sorts of other stuff. Okay. So I lost its capital. It's unfortunate. Hey, they recovered their capital. It's got another. It says, what other mods are you using besides the UI one? This is actually all the mods I'm using right now. I'm only using the enhanced user interface mod. That's just because on the multiplayer server that I like to play on, we are... Uh, well... It, it balks the game if not everybody's got the same set of mods installed. So actually, EUI is practically the only thing that we can use to keep everything stable. So yeah, that's all I'm using right now. Just uh, enhanced user interface mod, no other mods. Capital is going to grow next time. We've got a nice juicy production tile to grow to. Yeah, Argos needs to grow and then just like work production. Once we get the sheep, that's going to be pretty strong for it. Is we can work sheep, bison and then like another hill or something. We need to absolutely get Compass next. Gold return to Haran al-Rashid ended for the iron. Okay. Declaration of friendship with Spain ended. So we need to get that back. Continue on the friendship train. We're going to need a lot of gold. So it's a good job we built a market in the capital. We have got a plus 10 gold per turn to show for our efforts. 
Okay, so what do we can't we need to get a camp can this get the camp on the bison? No, that was such a bad idea. Oh well. Move on to a hill. We'll get the road at least. Sparta doesn't need a worker for a while, so let's send this worker down too. We need a lot of gold. Unfortunately, we can't research agreement with everyone because we need gold right now. We need cocoa. We need cocoa. Okay. Let's buy this for another king's day in the capital. Going to be worth the nine gold per turn we've paid. Another friendship expired with Arabia this time. Let's get that back for sure. Arabia is our one research agreement. Any reason not to settle the city? Probably no reason at all not to settle the city and then buy us for Prada right away. 13 required. Okay. We need a lighthouse here too. We need 13 gold. Let's probably just go grab a loan from one of our trusty AI friends. Um, can even just sell our open borders to Austria for a bit, I guess, for like 50. Make sure we can get Sraparada for the happiness and then work it. Gnosis is going to need a lot of help, so it definitely should be our first candidate for a trade route. So perhaps the one that's going to Corinth, when it ends, we send it straight around to Gnosis. We need to acquire furs. The furs will be really good. Very well. I don't know how we get furs, though. Wales to Maria Theresa ended. Okay. If that Wales ended, that was probably just for uh, We Love the King's Day, right? Um, so we got We Love the King's Day now in Corinth for getting the Wales back. Anybody want us to get Wales online? No. Okay, we're actually going to get duplicate Wales, so we do need to keep trading away, away so we do it for this copper. We've got Sparta growing. Yep, straight into the workshop slot, and let's absolutely work it. Get moving the scout around, get another farm up there. This camp done. A while, unfortunately. Argos is connected. Current loves the king. And these borders grew. Brilliant. That. We need that. Athens, right. What needs what needs doing? Lots of stuff to catch up on. We've got our stoneworks now, which is really good. Got a market up. We do need a temple. Workboats. A workboat would be kind of good. Just to ensure we've got food. And then we'll think about whatever else we do in a bit. We need to get Corinth growing to this. And then get his lighthouse up. We have his lighthouse, don't we? Yeah, we do. We, don't, we haven't even bought these fish. Let's get another loan and buy this fish. Oh, we can't. I bet we can. Oh, we have a horse. Um, 37? No. Okay. Uh, we can sell the horse to the Maya. We're not friends with them. You can sell the horse to Siam. We are friends with them. 37, so that we can take this fish and immediately start working it. Probably production folk. No, we can't product. Okay, we need just two more food. There we go. Let's grow next turn. Athens is going to grow next turn. We've actually got no more production to grow to right now. That. Because this one's going to grow to the... Uh, we'll, actually, we'll actually get more production... By acquiring this tile for one turn overall for the Empire. Need more gold. And we don't have any gold. Because we're sending about 20 gold per turn out to the AI already. Kuala Lumpur election rigged. Great. City connection established. Nice. So we're going to stop hemorrhaging some gold at least. Fishing boat. While it's one turn I guess we might as well do it. We don't need happiness quite yet. We need all sorts of other stuff. We don't even actually really need the water mill, but we should. The water mill is more valuable the, the sooner we get it, so we'll absolutely just do the water mill first. And then I'd rather be working this extra production over here. And you know what? No. While this has got enough tiles in Corinth, let's work this extra production in the cap. Needs it. Yeah, in Corinth grew two. Great. This tile next. Need some workers out. So we need to improve tiles around Nossus. That's definitely a mistake. These workers should be going to Nossus. Probably need to get a couple of workers over. There goes Leaning Tower. Three things on the so let's, yeah, let's send this worker immediately over to Nossus and then this worker over as well. Okay, we've got a worker done. Probably just actually one more worker. And then we'll start thinking about other useful stuff in this city. Over here in the capital. Do we need another worker? Maybe. Let's get one more. Doesn't hurt. We need to find get we need to find some more gold, which means we probably actually want to be building markets next.
Okay, we've got this one other worker in the capital now. Maybe go chop that forest down. All of these workers can just come over and just help with things in these new expansions. Athens grew. Nice. Wow. Okay. Uh, we should probably actually work the market slot because we need gold. It's not even really getting us a lot, but I guess it's stopping us from hemorrhaging too much gold. It means we probably need to make sure we don't lose any more gold by whatever we do. Um, one work boat for Corinth. Probably don't need both these units standing out here. That's going to be costing us some gold. Let's move this back. Send this work boat round. Uh, we can probably actually move this warrior back too. Yeah, because we've got that trireme that's providing us the vision. Really? Really, Scout? That needs to be a mine. This needs to go onto that sheep. This worker can come down. We've got loads of workers queued up now. I guess we keep this one here. For the jungle when the uni comes up. Just embark this. Okay, Corinth grows again. Straight into the engineer slot. Yes, what the faith. And then a circus. Because we are going to need the happiness soon. Lost a screw. Nice. Okay, straight into the sheep. It would have been quicker to have landed there. That's a mistake. Wait around Sparta. Okay, that in Athens to save some gold. That there to save some gold. Fishing boat keeps working around. We grew in Argus. That's cool. We actually just need to be working production right now until the lighthouse is up, which is actually only one turn. And then we got one policy before we go into rationalism. We're definitely not going to be able to get two, so let's just take commerce. While something like exploration might be good with five coastals, there's no way we're going explode two here or explode one even. And then we're going to need these Colosseums soon. Yeah, we're going to need the Colosseums soon. So let's just pre-get pre, pre -get a Colosseum in Athens. Athens is doing really well now. Pop 16. How's our population doing? We're 42 population on turn 96, so that is low. Um, which is to be expected from our poor start. But hopefully we're going to catch up quite quickly. So Athens grew... Yeah, we're working that mine for sure. Still plus 24 food in Athens, so it's definitely good. And then this needs to come over for the sheep. This lands to build a mine. It's going to land as well in a minute. So Argos now has its lighthouse up. So we need to build unis. Uh, lighthouse, granary probably. And then uni here in the capital after the Colosseum, uni in Sparta after the market. And then it probably is going to have to be Colosseum and Shrine. And then over here it's also going to have to be Colosseum and Shrine. There's just a stoneworks to be had. Over here we'll probably want a workshop after the granary, but we'll see. Compass for the trade route for sure. The question is whether or not we send food or production. I'm thinking because we've got so many hills around Argos and Nosos, it's definitely food. Yeah, so we're going there for the hill, there for the sheep, hill that, sheep that, fishing boat that. Not sure what we chopped down there. Okay, we can grow to one of these hills. We've got Corinth up to a decent amount of population actually powered by that cargo ship. We're unfortunately probably going to have to keep sending the cargo to Corinth, otherwise it definitely won't grow. And that was the current cargo. So let's send it back. The expands are just going to have to wait a little bit longer. The other expands. We can actually get one more cargo. Oh, the research agreement came through. Very cool. So that means that we can get this cargo ship straight away after the university. And we really desperately need this third cargo. But I don't know if Sistine is gone yet. But if it's not, that would be good. I don't see Sistine Chapel anywhere. So we might be able to grab it. Eight turns for the tech, five turns for our engineer. There's actually gems available up there. Any any city states want gems? No. 
Hanoi actually wants us to get iron, so let's let's get some more iron. Grüß Gott. Uh, yep, like that. That would be good, so we can complete the quest for them. Cape Town, science quest or furs. We can't really get any furs right now. More mines around Argos. We need to get some fishing boats out for Argos as well. Okay. We'll see where we have time to build a fishing boat. Very well. I actually need to make sure to acquire those whales at some point. When we, Whichever one of these we grow to, we'll buy the other. Dies to Maria Teresa ended. Let's we'll definitely get that back. Grüß Gott. Yep, current crew. Um, we absolutely need this got gems, so let's buy that off him. Nine. It's a shame to be spending all of our GPT on just like random stuff like that, but I think it's what we've got to do. We need the production in the city right now, so maybe we'll just grow into the uni slot. Let's not use the market for it, but then let's grow into the uni slot for this next growth. In two turns. In fact, we can just do this. Growing one. I would love to buy this hill right now, but we just cannot afford it because we need to buy tiles in our other cities. We do. This work is not really doing anything else. I might as well just stay on the hill. I'm going to grow here, grow to a mine. Good. Narcissus isn't growing yet. I'm sure it'll grow soon. There goes Hameji Castle. And it's turn 100. Let's see what the situation is. Yep, gems connected for Ormus. Oh, I didn't even realise Ormus needed gems. Cool. Horses to Ramcam Hying ended. Athens grew to the production, which is what we needed. Okay, we grew... Oh, we had it on default focus. We wanted production focus. Oh, that's so stupid. Oh, well. So, who's Ormus? Ormus are these guys. Okay. Well, yeah, we're not going to get that... that. Yeah, we're not going to get this either, unfortunately. The only way we can get it? Not really. We can take guilds. That might get it for us. Five turns. Let's go acoustics and guilds, I guess. <laughs> See if we can... No, 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 no. There's no, there's no way we can get this thing, because we're miles behind. Just acoustics. But we are actually going to want guilds anyway for banking. Need to sell this horse. Not two horses to sell. Cool. Okay, so anyway, turn 100. We've got 47 pops. That's actually pretty low for five cities. It's really kind of low population, but it's definitely a symptom of just the terrible start we had. Having to fight our way through the barbarians and only going three cities on like three luxes. Even now, we're, I think, still four luxing on three cities or something bad. Or four luxing on five cities. But we are Greece, so we maintain lots of city-state friendships. We're actually trading away loads of our regional luxury right now. Another composite bowman from Hanoi. That's kind of cool. We can go keep it in Sparta. Let's give it a promotion. And we rigged Kuala Lumpur's election again. So we've got 41 with them right now. Austria 62 away. We could give them a gift of gold, but generating that engineer will get us close. Finish this cargo. I guess it's probably guild's time. Writer's guild. Need to get the culture going. Oh, we can build a trading post when we get guilds in there, but we can't yet. Okay, um, Nossus needs our help. So, Nossus. And then the banking one will go to our other expansion. Argos is doing alright, actually. It's going to go grow to its own fish. Uh, we can go chop that down. Explore. Maybe we'll find a natural wonder or something. Agree. Okay. Right, that jungle. We're going to want it eventually. Okay. Oh, we don't even have a monument here yet. That's why we're not growing anywhere culturally. Okay. We need to build one there. We've got a writer's guild in the cat. Probably a temple for a bit of faith. And then we'll build some white boats or something. This writer's guild, we need to work it. Yes, we take away production for it. We can take away the engineer slot, actually, once we're um, done generating an engineer anyway. Okay, this can go there now. 
Looks like we've got too many workers all of a sudden. That's good because we can use it to spam trading posts in Sparta. Engineer. Very nice. And here we go. Trading posts after guilds. Let's just wait that for one turn. Make sure we don't do anything silly. And we got another cool tile here. For Argos. I'm actually going to grow. And then I guess we claim that bananas when we can. Uh, we actually need a road, don't we? So maybe we get to work on a road with these workers. We can vote on the World's Fair. Really, World's Fair already? Turn 103. I guess it's not during school's timing, but... Still pretty tough for us. Yeah, everywhere's growing now. That's good. Gnosis needs a monument. Life has been tough for Gnosis, for sure. Road's not going to be particularly profitable right now. Oh, no, let's build it in that tile instead. Let's wait for guilds one more turn. World's Fair passes, okay. We need to do World's Fair. Athens grew. Okay, so we need to do World's Fair. Oh man, but we've got the Sistine Chapel to go for. Okay. Well, let's hope none of the AI are building it. Perhaps we can look, actually. Uh, yeah. But we don't need to work the workshop slot in here anymore. Working this university is really painful, though. Let's grow into it. Argos grew. Cool. And we grew in Nosos as well. Yeah, definitely that fish. Now we've got the lighthouse. And we need to go World's Fair. So, Sparta. And Corinth. And Athens after the Sistine Chapel. Hopefully that'll give us enough production to do something about the World's Fair. Golden Age 2, which would be pretty handy. No, 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 no. Oh, man. It's really lucky that we had this opposite Bowman auto moving, because otherwise we'd have skipped a turn and put a turn of production into the Sistine Chapel. Okay. What does it look like? Can we see it in our own city? That's like a Colosseum, isn't it? I don't think that's the Sistine Chapel. I actually have no idea what the Sistine Chapel even looks like. Anyway, we can find out. Otherwise, I guess we're just going to have to engineer it and hope. Gold would turn out handy anyway, but it would be a real shame to waste the engineer. 593, 641, 593, 641. We might be the only person there, to be honest. Well, YOLO. Sistine Chapel time. We can put the overflow into the World's Fair anyway. In Aqueduct in that city of Nossos as well. Cool, Sistine Chapel, nice. Nossos demands furs. Yeah, I would love to get some furs as well. Unfortunately, we do not have right now. And we can finally do trading posts. There's a mine for us to get. The road. Okay, so how much have we got? So we've got 39 into the World's Fair so far. Capital's going to add a few fair bits, hopefully. We'll keep the stable behind it. Someone's in industrial. We don't need silk for anything. We do need silk for Austria, for this state Mombasa. So let's definitely get that. We don't have anything to give away for it, though. Man, we don't have anything to give away for that silk. We do. Arabia adopted order. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. The AI is already at ideology. And we are just sort of sat here right now in our own special place. Doing banking. Well, they didn't go for freedom. So perhaps we go for freedom. 14 food to grow into next turn. So let's not do that. 193 right now. So I think... The capital, 193, 233, 240. I think the capital might just be enough to get us over the line for the World's Fair. So let's take it out. And get these Colosseums built in our other cities. Needed, for sure. You haven't got the stoneworks yet in this city. 232, really? We need 234 and a half. All right. 
Now, well, we don't really want to waste the capital's production, so let's just um, put a different city's production. Nah, you know what, the capital's furthest ahead of the production queue. And that's a bit of a waste to do it, but the capital really is the furthest ahead at this point. What ended? Shugan dies with Isabella ended. Saludos. Uh, what do we need? We need this, and we still need the silk. I bet we could have traded our dyes for that or something. I only got four GPT now as well, even though we've grown some populations, I think we finished some roads. Ah, this cargo ship is done. This is going to Athens. Have we got enough food here? We have ten and a half right now in the capital. Send this to Athens. And then in three turns, Athens will get the banking trade route again. We grew in Nossos, which is good. We need this. Okay, three turns to border growth. We need gold. Like, how do we get some gold? We're selling dyes. Okay. Gold per turn from Wu ended. Okay, we're back to zero now. Were we paying for this ivory? We were with this iron. And we just need to give away one more iron, I guess, for two GPT. So we've got even less on the gold front now. As we build all of these roads. The trading posts. Okay, and this needs to be, I guess, food to Argos. This needs to be a road. Finishing all these roads to just wreck our GPT. Uh, yes, we can grow into this uni now. Sparta grow next turn, no four and a half. Although we should probably work some of this stuff now. We do that. How's that? Okay, we can still grow a bit, perhaps. Sparta might actually need to work the bananas. Oh my god, the fleet of missionaries. Wow, four, like all in the same place. What's this religion? It's Polynesia's religion, which is Catholicism. Let's see. Shrine happiness. Shrine happiness. And, and um, it's not Jesuit education. It's sacred sites. Friendship with Austria ended. And we were doing wine and gold per turn with someone else. Okay, so friendship with Austria ended. Need to get that back. We need this. So let's actually trade the silk. Oh. Yeah, we were sending away GPT. Do we want any more gold in this empire? No. Uh, we could actually we could plonk something in a market slot to deal. There we go. So that'll take us up to ten. So we can buy something back now. So let's buy back the silk for like eight. Nine. Okay, buy the silk for nine. And then we can just do marble spot for this wine. It doesn't net us anything right now, but it will eventually. We've done a workshop here. Coliseum for the happiness and then um, oh, no, we need to go back here. So, Colosseum for the happiness. And then it's going to need to be like libraries, the market, the shrine, something like that. And this is a road. Trading post. And then this is a shrine done. We definitely need a temple at some point. But a stable will be better just because we need every single hammer we can get in that city. We need more gold again, but we're sending a lot away on deals. Okay. Apparently, friending Austria wasn't the right thing to do. Okay, so now we've got friends with another city-state for more food. Got a first writer in Athens. Nossus isn't going to need that many workers from now on. We said we were going to buy whichever tile it almost grew to. So let's do that. And then in five turns, we can buy the whales. And so yeah, this work is done. Probably delete some workers to save some cash. Uh, just put the writer over there, save it. Road. Road. And this road is done too. But this this worker can stay in Nossus and then we'll probably delete a couple. I guess we overzealously built workers earlier. Most of a couple of turns, but it is what it is. We needed to get things growing ASAP. We definitely need a bank. So that's for the capital. Finish the granary here. We need an aqueduct. 
And then we'll probably need a Colosseum before the workshop. Uh, over here, Stoneworks, good. Might might need to be Bank here as well. Not sure why stable, well, stable's available for this sheep, but it doesn't really seem useful. Uh, let's look for industrial... Well, we'll, we'll do economics and then we'll make a decision. Definitely economics first, because we get extra gold from trading posts and stuff. Athens can grow to a production tile. We need the artist guild. It's a bit late for the artist guild now, but we need... And we actually, instead of this bank, we need to be building that cargo. So there's the cargo, and then we get the bank after. No, don't need war. I think the writer. Definitely got too many workers. We'll try and find the... Uh, we can't even find the stolen worker to delete it, because... Um, well, let's get this work at least in our territory to delete it. We'll delete this one. Finish the road to Nossa, so hopefully that gives us some more gold. We're allies with a cultural city state now. Ah, we need the artist guild as well. Okay, that's going to slow down our bank. We grew here. Did we? Oh, yes, there. Okay, well, let's get more food. Plus 6.9 food in Sparta. Stoneworks done over here. Probably do need the bank. Right? Bank, amphitheater. Bank, I guess, because we've got a cultural ally and Sistine. So, and we need to vote for someone as host. It's going to have to be Spain or Austria. Oh, no, it's got to be Arabia. Okay. That's fine. Got lots of city state friends right now because we are, we're, we're being very Greece. We can actually send this cargo to Mombasa for food. That'll actually be quite good. That will get us another city-state ally. Maybe it'll even give us our whales to trade away. Extra votes in the World's Congress would be good. And that's plus two food and growth rate anyway. By sending the cargo there. And we get a city-state ally out of it. Stay there with the worker. Put random farm in the desert. As many men it's, we're, we're totally going to get something like oil or something on that desert tile later. So, Belgrade, if we could get Belgrade this citrus, that would be good. But for now, I feel like, because if we get allies with Mombasa, we get like growth rate and food everywhere or something. This was actually production to Sparta, which needs it back. Then Argos grows. Cool. Working loads of tiles now. Need that banana. The capital's got eight food. I mean, we're already at pop 20. Hmm. I mean, maybe because we're already at pop 20, maybe we, yeah, maybe we do just go for this uh, city-state. It'll be nice to power up the capital, though, because we're only at 61 pop right now. We can totally ally Mombasa. Oh, we got, finally, I think we can, uh, this is opening rationalism, right? Yes. And taking secularism, cool. Secularism turn 113, not bad. Anywhere we've got a workshop, we should now go and work the workshop instead of a hill. And we've got a workshop to work instead of a hill here. Which of these cities needs the bananas? Probably Argos. Oh no, but that's we're giving up science for that. Yeah, well, look, when we get a university over here, I guess we do that. But right now, Sparta can work this. Okay, we've got a stable. Bank. Our hermitage is going to be late if it ever arrives. Which is why we're not doing amphitheaters yet. And yeah, let's go to Mombasa. It gives us gold per turn. But it also gives us the extra food from the city-state quest. And we grew up here as well. Not a lot of good tiles. When we take this tile, we'll buy the whales. That's actually going to be happiness right now. Thinking about it. Which is kind of cool. And some gold from Sparta. Which we're really enjoying. That's the power of going economics first. Well, actually, we've not even gone economics yet. That's just Golden Age, right, from the World's Fair. Do Banana Fort, but that seems really pointless. Banana Fort. <laughs> Shot that forest down. Yeah, we were buying cocoa. We want to keep buying the cocoa. 35 GPT now. That's really good. 35 GPT lets us do stuff. Be grease about it. Maybe going commerce was a good idea because we are Greece. We've got all of these friends, which means maybe our win condition is actually a diplomatic victory this game. Don't know. 
And it'd certainly be very greased to go diplomatic victory. That's why I can get up there to get that final tile up there. Banana fort, because we're cool. Absolutely useless. Um, Athens loves the king for acquiring Wales. I guess over the end turn we got Wales back. It's kind of cool to get a king's day in the capital for it. Yeah, we've got a tile to grow to here. Uh, selling open borders? Probably not. Could do with the gold. We do need another research agreement from somewhere. 62 pop still. We need an observatory. Why are we not going astronomy next? We've been gifted a crossbow. Okay. Well, that's cool. We'll delete the warrior. And then we'll uh, store our crossbow inside Corinth. I'm loving this 33 gold per turn right now. This is pretty clutch. Definitely need all the help we can get, and this gold will help us to do grease things, I guess, later in the game. Oh, yes, uni in here. Um, probably after the market. Maybe after the shrine, too. Shrine's a pretty cheap building. Okay, so we've got two friends now. We've got Mombasa and two friends, two allies, Mombasa and Kuala Lumpur, which is nice. We are friendly with like all the other city states we've met, but we need a try room. Get it after the bank. So we can try and meet the rest of them because we appear to only see six. I mean, I think a couple have been killed, but six isn't going to be. If we're going to do a Greece Diplo victory, we're going to need more than six. Uh, oh. we, we were going to go for a tri room, but maybe it actually makes sense for a caravel now. Observatory in the capital and then caravel in Corinth. And if we upgrade this perhaps as well. Well, we got this pointless try room right now that's doing nothing. Let's caravel it. Move it a little bit closer to the world. Copper for Wales is done. My love, King. And yeah, it's only copper and marble that's available right now. Oh, he wants gold per turn for it. I mean, this is the guy with the dupe, so we want to keep trading with him. Corinth grew. Cor I mean, Corinth is already pretty much at its maximum population at 15. Certainly seems that way. Yep. By the Wales. Cool. We need a work boat. For that, Argos, for the work boat perhaps. Could do a building in the cap. Maybe we'll just lob it just there in front of the observatory. Can we afford... We need to work the food, really, and then grow to this stuff. Yeah, I guess we can just about afford to do that. Don't even know which of these tiles we're going to expand to first. Let's bring this back. Get food there. Probably should be a trading post actually. Maybe I will switch that to a trading post later. Got a crossbow though. Got get a couple of banks next turn. So that's again going to be pretty big for our gold. We need Colosseums. That might be our last Colosseum up there actually. I think it is. So we can get Circus Maximus. Oh, Austria takes this back off of us. We've generated a scientist now. There goes Taj. We've been gifted a pikeman now too. Okay. Well, I guess we delete the chariot then. And then um, move this combo over to Nosos. And uh, move the hoplite around for Argos. Crossbow goes in Athens. And then the pike goes in Corinth. Grand Misa, we finally found that natural wonder. So maybe only Ormus wanted it. But hey, Ormus is Ormus. Every little helps. I guess we just sit in, waiting for one of those. Yeah, we need some white boats. And um, we need to save this scientist. Let's place it over there. Artist skill being worked, okay. Trade away horses. We've got 65 population now. And Sparta grows. Cool. I mean, it's just keep going in more food here, really. I mean, we could work the uni, but it's just so painful to do here. Like, it's, we're basically going to stop the growth of this city to go and work the university slots. We need a temple for the scientists purchasing. Let's get in there. Okay, we're going to have to move through Cape Town's territory. That's fine. Lots of gold in this city, though. That's good is done so let's bring it back to Athens we've got this work boat we need to get another work boat as well probably in this city off actually we can get it before the uni let's 
get exploring, see if we can meet all of the world's city-states. We can finally get that observatory in our capital. City State did want us to get a scientist earlier, but I guess... That argument for being friends with Mombasa really didn't work out, did it? <laughs> because we already lost our alliance with them. Training post. Fishing boat. I actually need three fishing boats for Nosos. So we're going to need to grab another one at some point. We actually need one for Argos too. We need two for Argos as well. Okay, so Argos can get two more fishing boats next. For each of its resources. Then we need one more for Nosos. So that can come in Athens after the observatory. It actually grew here. It's working loads of random food right now. Yeah, this city needs to catch up big time. Um, research agreement, yes. No gold quest for city states right now. We could have put the gold into Mombasa, actually. It's just J1 says, are you winning? Hey, it's just J1. Welcome to the stream today. And we're 12% behind in tech because we had a really slow start. But we are five city coastal Greece, um, which hopefully has its benefits. And we've met Milan. Our barons plundered some random person's trade route. Um, the empire is interesting. I must say, it's not the greatest empire in the world. This should definitely just be a trading post. It's not the greatest empire in the world. Oh, this is for this. Why else? All right, well, next time then. It's definitely not the greatest empire in the world. We're kind of a bit stuck because we have not great lands. We're actually running um, five cities on four unique luxuries right now, I think. Or is it three? We're running five cities on three unique luxuries and Strapada right now, which is pretty terrible. But we're, we're having to do it because we're just uh, in a bit of trouble, really. Circus Maximus in five. Because um, we, we had a really, really, really slow start. So we're having to do all of this to catch up. So we set all these extra cities. We're trying to do our best. We've got 68 population, which is all right. Um, and now we're just trying to meet the rest of the world in the hope that we can find some more city-states to, you know, do Greece things with. There's an encampment there. Let's send the crossbow for it and the composite bowman for it. So let's send these two crossbows up to try and take out this camp for Milan. Because we are Greece after all. We'll have a bit of a swim. Take a few turns, but we're not doing anything else with this army. So in short, don't know if we're winning to be honest, but we're trying to build ourselves a good position. We're trying to build the best position we can anyway. That's the Wales. We're thinking, because we've opened commerce, diplomatic victory might be the best route to victory. We've certainly got decent gold, but you know... It's debatable yet whether or not we're... Oh, Krakatoa. Wow, okay. Cool. Well, we found all the natural wonders. It's a shame we didn't have a quest for that. Every time I find it hard to find natural wonders, there's always quests all over the place. But when it's easy to find natural wonders, you know that you find the quests like all the time. Or you, know, you find the natural wonders all the time when you don't have a quest. Hmm. Whales for marble over here. Oh, uh, we've. I mean, marble's our own thing, so we really don't want to trade away the whales for that. Unless... Our cities demand marble, which they don't. They demand furs. And it looks like we have Catholicism now. So that's a little bit of happiness and some uh, um, sacred sites. Nothing over there. We're just exploring the world to try and um, see if we can... Ah, Budapest. Hello. Find the rest of the city-states in, in this game. This is another fishing boat for Argos. Another non-workable Krakatoa, it looks like. We've got really poor growth rate in Athens right now, but we don't need too, too much growth. Hopefully, we'll go for traditional something. National epic right now is probably needed. Yeah, Athens adopted a religion, fine. Nosos screw, working so many pointless tiles. We need specialists here in Nosos, but we don't have any yet. We'll get some. And then this workboat goes there, this workboat goes there. Oh, we're actually building two workboats in Argos. We've got a university here now, so we can grow into that. Let's see if we can find the rest of the city-states on this map. And Budapest wants a different camp. Okay, well, we'll probably go get Budapest's camp afterwards. The mine for us to get there. And this for a golden age when we need it. Still don't have humanism, so we do need to make sure we get that ASAP. But in two turns, we'll get humanism. We're not going to be, we're not going to have bad timing for free thought, I don't think, which is quite good. And we're definitely getting great gold per turn out of this. This city needs a bank, and I think we've already got a bank. Yeah, we do. 
What this city needs is population. Yep. We don't don't need to pay for that iron anymore. Yeah, so we can go get Milan. The extra culture will be good. Just sort of swan our way over to this uh, barbarian camp and see if we can take it. Got to turn to Maria ended. That was just iron and GPT, so that's fine. Another growth here. We should probably be buying some of these hills for this city. Turn that into a trading post. This city is all out of tiles to improve now. That's a mine. This is a workboat for this fish. We'll be exploring the ocean. We're spamming workboats right now because we need all of the food we can get. This is not a high food empire at all. And we're kind of being a bit hamstrung with... Mm, can we, yeah, we, we do need to make our way through Austrian Let's territory. Go. Maybe we buy some open borders for one? For two? Okay, two. And then we can make our way through their territory, see if we can explore more of what they've got. There's a hill. We can actually... Banana Fall guy can do that. Bart is actually still working that Banana Fall as well. We are going to grow in one. So we'll go for non-manual specialist control and go straight into this food. Guys for gold, sure. Yeah, so we're actually... This is actually kind of cool. I've been waiting for a game like this for a while. So we're actually um, five city on three luxing it right now. Yeah, so it's just dies, marble, and whales. So we're five sitting on three luxes, which is pretty insane if you think about it. You know, the standard rule of thumb is usually um, one city per unique luxury that you have within your city borders. And it's certainly the advice that I give on... on one of the guide videos I've got up on my YouTube channel. But right now, we are actually five sitting on three luxuries and that is just absolute necessity because our our initial three cities were so bad there's no way we could win the game on them gems and gpt from haran al rashid ended we must get that back citrus citrus is needed where there belgrade okay so we should get we should go for citrus and we will trade away our whales for that and then we need to buy these gems or eight if we can. Has to be nine. Okay, that's fine. We grew in Sparta. Yeah, so into the workshop. So let's lock that in. And then we can take humanism. And over here. Okay, so we're finally done with the work boat. Probably need to get... I mean, a stable is only like one, one production or something. So maybe it's temples for faith purchasing. Over here, we need to make our way to universities. Our great person generation is not good right now. The Singapore stuff. So no one's a research agreement. Yes, we definitely need those. We've got a couple now. That's going to help accelerate our science through while we try and make up for kind of the bad science. That we've got industrialization. Okay. Hopefully we've got some coal. China appears to be going for all of the islands. Yes, we have two sources of coal. That is brilliant. And understandably, like, the hills that we don't have online were always going to be our coal. Okay. So what workers have we got to go and prove that? And this. Oh, we can actually afford to chop out this now because it's actually got coal on it. Seven turns, though. Oh, we've actually already pre-chopped it, which is kind of cool. <laughs> totally planned it. The accidental pre-chopping we did earlier in the game has actually turned out to be of help. Definitely work the workshop specialist. You grew here? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's literally no good task because we haven't even expanded our borders to any of this stuff, so we just work a specialist. Horses and GPT with Wu. We need to remember that. Argos grew. Probably it's time to start working the uni here. It's not really time to start working the uni here, actually, but... Oh, well. And we have another spy. So where do we go? Probably Mombasa. Is there most... And then most direct another natural wonder for Hanoi. Really? We just found them all. Anyway, I think this spy does go in Mombasa. What does it? What does Milan have as their resource? Wine. We're really kind of getting wine from Kuala Lumpur. No, we're getting whales actually from Kuala Lumpur. Maybe this goes into Milan in um, preparation for us taking out that camp. Culture is going to be pretty good for us. Yeah, so there's our source of coal. Okay, well, we get those coal sources online. That's cool. And for now, we... What do we need? Ironworks. We also probably should build Big Ben. But 10 turns is not worth it right now. 
Uh, we don't really have uh, sciences funding. Sure, we would love that. It's going to help us out greatly. Unfortunately, because of how long it's going to take us to get the coal online again, we're going to be at scientific theory before we can get our factories built in a lot of our cities. But we're going to try our best. Definitely amphitheater next, I think, in Sparta. Yeah, Kathmandu, okay. Don't know where Kathmandu is. Probably come across them at some point. We must have met one of their units. Spain's got frigates. That's not really a problem. Let's get a view on this camp. Okay. I think the city state is about to clear at the moment we get there. Or well, if it does, we're going to move our spy. We need to check the World Congress resolutions actually in a minute. What are they? Okay, so cool. So no happiness from Silk is a bit annoying, but hey, we got sciences funding passed, and that's going to be really great. Okay, this city's done with its temple. I guess we're starting some amphitheaters. While we wait for this coal, four turns. We'll um we'll work that coal as well in the cap. What do we got now? So we're at 75 population, which is really cool. Hopefully we can make our way to 100 on this empire, and then that'll be better. But, you know, it's not definitely not a given. Oh, brilliant. A pikeman spawned. That is great. We love that pikeman, because that means that we can clear the camp now. That is really lucky. Really, really lucky. The Gatling gun can go stay in Athens. Being in Greece is really cool, because we're getting a lot of military from all of these city-states. This just goes to prove, this is something that I've never been all that good at when playing Civ, is managing city-states. Like, once you get on the quest train for city-states, it can be really good. Friendship with Polynesia required. Because you get culture, faith, units particularly from city-states is pretty cool. Another mine up. Really need to be working food in Argos, to be honest. We're working with this production, but it probably really does need to be food. Circus Maximus is done, that's good. We're exploring the ocean. See if we can find this final natural wonder, maybe. This guy's on his way back. Um, we can probably trading post one of these as well. That'll be extra science when we get to free thought, which will be in nine turns. We want this hill up there. Oh, the city state actually finally cleared its own camp. Okay. Well, maybe we then do go and put our spy back in Mombasa. We'll leave it in Milan just in case we get that rig through. No hurt in taking it away. And we need an amphitheater here as well. Coal online in next turn. Just in time for this ironworks to go up, which is kind of good. But again, three turns away from scientific theory is not good because there's bad timing. But we're just going to have to do what we are. We want this ideology. Right for starving, yeah. We're going to need to send it food back again. We actually missed those city-state borders. Oh, oh, this one just... So we've got Nossus and current because we got two finish. Okay. Nossus has got plus 6.9 food right now. To be honest, it doesn't need another cargo ship. We need to send one to Corinth, though. Let's just kind of work all of that food that we've got. Amphitheater. Stable, perhaps. There's only one sheep, though. Yeah, I guess we'd do some of this. Uh, not, you know, Nossus could use some extra food. We need to just keep increasing the food in Empire. I can't believe we walked all this way for like no reward at all. We got there and then it got cleared. Corinth has actually claimed another food tile that we can work. It means we probably just want to unwork the bank for that. Okay, and here we can start building our factories. So, factory in five in the cap. 
factory in 9 over here, factory in 10 here, factory in 12 here, and a factory in 16 over there. But that's Golden Age. That's ideology in nine. Probably something like that, I guess. And we've actually got some spare coal to give away. Because this was a seven node, was it? That's kind of good. We'll again just keep trading it for two GPT. We'll actually get some more coal off of this tile in a couple of turns as well. Okay, well, we'll get the factory done in the capital and then go straight into a school. That's, I guess, probably most important. We've got another unit over there. It's another Gatling gun. Um, okay. So let's send this Gatling gun up to Sparta. And then this Gatling gun can go to the capital. Get way up there. This coal's done. That's good because it's going to be you know, a bit more production for this city, which it sorely needs. Two turns to grow. Actually, only three turns to do that. But anyway. Let's actually get the factory down. No, but it probably gives us more defense to the Golden Age ending. Let's go wait in there. Got a lot of workers waiting around right now. Perhaps we should have deleted some. Zurich, hello. Let's swim our crossbows back. And this Gatling gun needs its promotion. The random one, probably not going to use it. Not so screw. Good. We need to buy these production tiles. There we go. That's what we use our gold for. Nossus is going to need them. This is definitely more of a low population empire, but at least we've got five cities. It's kind of good, making the best of what we've got for sure. Oh, we wanted to put this spy into Mombasa now because it's kind of pointless in Milan. Yeah, we didn't even get the rig through. Yep, Mombasa. There is M. There it is. Argos group. Yep, cool. More production. Let's lock all this down. See if there's anything up there in the snow. Zurich just hiding there in its own little corner. Uh, this jungle's not in range of anyone. Convert some of these tiles over to trading posts. Oh, wait. We just uh, bought these tiles. Let's get a mine. In fact, are we on, on the road here? No, we're not. Let's get on the road. Save some gold by being inside our cities. And good, we're working this, this coal now. 61.1, and we can sell some more. So let's just flog it all for gold because it is more than going for flat gold. I guess we could buy another research agreement with all of the gold that we've got, but perhaps don't need to right now. Just want to keep stacking gold for the moment because we want to do Greece things in the end game. We might be able to win by diplomacy here because we are Greece after all. It's a crossbow. Can't believe this is stick cleared. It's camped the one turn before we got there. Yeah, what else can we do? Uh, we're selling dyes for HGBT, yep, sure. This camp is there. Guess we can try and make our way around to get the camp. With one crossbowman. Okay, good. Trade route's being pillaged, but it doesn't matter to us. Okay, we've got gold on that tile now, which is really cool. We're still growing one there. And because we're not actually working any specialists, we can do something like this. And then grow into the workshop. Sounds good. Then I guess we actually trading post this tile as well. Because we're not working it right now. Oh, we got this as a mine. The one the one tile we moved away. We got that straight back. Um, we are actually working one of these tiles for food. Probably actually need to keep it as food right now as well. So let's just move this worker back. some more scouting with these caravels. These caravels are coming quite handy for us. I was quite pleased we built them. And we now have scientific theory, so we'll move for electricity. We've got our factories in six, probably going to be in seven. Let's hope so. Yeah, probably going to be in seven because the golden age is going to end in three turns. Milan joins Austria by diplomatic marriage. Okay, yeah, sure. Research agreement. That's where the city states are going is Austria. Which means we need to get Mombasa away from them. Pretty sharp. We've got 100 gold per turn now. And our city demands marble. Athens actually demands marble. Oh, we grew here, did we? Oh. Manual specialist control. F. Oh, well. We actually demand marble. 
Now we were buying this ivory with iron, so we'll continue to do that. Um, and I guess we can we can buy the marble right now because it I mean it does matter getting it early. So it's, even though we actually do have marble ourselves, let's just buy Austria's marble. It's a bit of a bad trade, but we want the King's Day in the capital and then go straight into a public school. And what do we need? We need to get Mombasa away from Austria before they get diplomatic marriaged. Could take a loan off Austria just to do it, like four for eighty-four. Oh, no, we need one more. One for 21. It's a bit of a waste of gold, um, but let's just... Oh, wow, we can't even actually get there. We need three. Well, we'll do it on the next rigging, I suppose. Let's hope that they don't join Austria by diplomatic marriage in that time. Rocket Gibraltar, cool. Who's that for? Hanoi. Okay, Arabia is 63 ahead, so we're going to get really close in Hanoi now. We've discovered seven from Natural Wonders. I guess that's all of them now. Mind that. Mine's nearly done here. This is going to grow soon. Okay. Uh, we need to bold these writers at the end of this golden age. Must remember that. Two turns, and then we'll bold the writers. Maybe. We'll get free thought, at least. Uh, mm, oh man, this is really close. We don't really want... We would like to take universal suffrage and freedom. If it is freedom that we go... I think it will be, but if it is freedom that we go... Saludos. We're definitely going to want to take universal suffrage. We need to trade this marble away for something. Oh, I think we've done it wrong. We should have traded the marble away and we didn't. We traded the yeah. dies. Oh, we're, we're buying marble, so we might as well try and get some gold back for it. <laughs> Athens loves the king. Cool. We've got a scientist born in Corinth. That's our second one. Keep stacking those scientists. Whales over there. Bit of wine up there. Rocket Oh, there's a way through. Nice. And that mine city up there looks really bad. Hey, where was this guy? Argos. Yes. More food needed for Argos for sure. Silk and GPT. Yeah, that ended. We did the deals wrong. That's so bad. Definitely go onto that tile. Well, if we do take freedom, and I think this empire really does need freedom, we'll definitely be working these university slots after this. Okay, so Hanoi now. Just 22 influence needed to take them over. Good. Mombasa wants a road. Well, I will happily oblige. We will do a road to Mombasa for sure. Let's get these workers down. This is why we put this stupid road to Nossos. But exactly that. We're going to grow in Athens. Yeah, that's production, isn't it? Small capital. But, you know what? It's kind of, it's worked for us, to be honest. Like, just working all of this, all of these hills for production has really, really worked for us. Now, even if we get to, like, 25 in the late game, 25 is small for a coastal cap. Like, it is, it is small. But, not the worst thing ever. We grew again. Public school next turn. Um, four turns for ideology. We do get a golden age, so we will actually keep the golden age up and then we can bob the writers after that. It's good, because we do now have free thoughts. We don't want to have to take the fourth freedom policy yet if we don't need to. Let's get these workers out. Mombasa's got artillery. Yeah, this worker can come over too. As if this camp still exists. Budapest still wants us to take it down, so I'm guessing it does. Such a mistake, I think, sending Mombasa to that trade route. I mean, it's got us really close. We're two influence away from Austria. As long as it doesn't get diplomatic marriage within the next four turns, we'll be okay. I would try and kill it, but I would really like to try and save that influence. Which is why we're not. I, uh, I used to really enjoy cooing, but this, you know, you kind of have to... They, I mean, they call it save scumming a bit. I guess you have to save scum a bit in order to really make queuing work. Unless you, like, absolutely need it. Need it. It does uh, require you to be a bit open to reloading your saves in order to get a lot out of queuing. Okay, cool. So we can take this camp down, perhaps. So let's do that. Oh, Noxon joins the chat. Noxon says, hey, how's it going? I'm good, thanks, Noxon. How are you? Just trying to enjoy a late night game of Civ on a Sunday evening. 
What do we need? Might need a zoo at some point. Amphitheater would be good for some culture. Windmill would be nice. Zoo maybe first. We're getting a little bit low on happiness. It certainly, it certainly can go quickly. It would be nice to take our ideology before we bulb this artist. So we're going to wait three turns to do it. Noxon says, I'm good man, just trying to relax before falling asleep and facing another week at work. <laughs> yeah, aren't we all? Aren't we all? But, uh, yeah, well, hopefully you get some good relaxation in. <laughs> I hope watching, hope watching me doesn't prove too stressful for you, wouldn't that be ironic? Okay, we need to sail in and try and garrison this spot. I guess search around this island. Let's go have a look here. Oh, Baron Caravel. Yeah, another week of work. I got work in the morning as well. It's never great. You have to get up and go to work, but it is what it is. We all need money. We need these furs. I haven't seen these furs all game. This must be a city state. Or like someone's just got like one copy of it. We aren't really in the position to go get any more right now. We might become allies with um, Mombasa soon. That would be good. Before Austria diplomatic marriages them. Noxon says, yep, you got to do what you got to do. Indeed. Sadly, agree. Sadly, agree. We're, we're not working our specialist slot in Athens. Well, that needs to change. Yeah, let's work together, Spain. Sure, everyone loves us because we're on the friendship train. Mm, we've not collected many allies, which means we might not be able to go diplomacy into this as Greece. But we'll definitely go freedom. You know, order and autocracy already have one adopter each. But freedom for us, because we really need that specialist food. I feel like I always go freedom. I do gen generally, genuinely really love freedom. That means we can work these slots as well, because if we've just taken civil society, it's really good for us. And that means that we can now go actually start working these uni slots as well, because we've got food from it. Really good. Public school after this factory. That's really slow. We've got enough food here now. We can afford to do this, at least for the moment. Okay, and this cargo was Sparta for production. Does it still need to do that? Yeah, Sparta is still low production. It's a public school. It's a nine-term public school, so it absolutely still needs it. There we go. Bam. Go in for that city-state road. Oh, what do we move? Okay, it was the crossbow. Doesn't look like we're going to be contested for this anyway. Maybe see if we can get that mine up. We finished this zoo. Oh, stock exchange time. That's kind of cool. We'd like one of those. It might be nice to get Big Ben now, though. We've got a little bit of time. Try and get Big Ben. And now with freedom, we'll make our way to replaceable parts. So what do we need? We need to Golden Age. When do we need to Golden Age? Oh, when we take Universal Suffrage. Oh, that's in a bit of a while. Let's go Golden Age now, then. Yeah, I mean, we get like three extra Golden Age turns once we take Universal Suffrage, right. but Done. this gold is going to... This is going to let us work through our... Um... Oh, we finished the factory in Argos before we finished the factory in um, our other city. That's pretty sad. That was our production city in the early game. I guess it still technically kind of is, but... Okay, this was the one that was going to Mombasa, so let's not do that. Let's go to Argos. We'll send it straight to Athens and we'll let Athens grow just for 25 turns before the end of the game. Take out this camp. Hopefully that means we can get friendship with Budapest. Not sure why this... All these galleasses. I really hope Polynesia doesn't want to war us. But it seems like they kind of like us a bit. They're at war with Austria right now, so hopefully that's for that. What's Sparta doing? It's not really growing right now because we're unhappy. We need to work these scientist specialists. And we can do it now because we are you, civil society. Yep, civil society. Oh, we're still not working this one. Fine. <laughs> F, indeed. Right. This is not bad. we got a bunch of research agreements coming in. 53 gold per turn. We're unhappy. But we'll universal suffrage in like 9 turns. Can we get it now? 375. We've got like 750 culture waiting. So we can actually get there right now. Just do it. Which means it was a waste to do that golden age beforehand. But oh well. But we're happy. That's what we want. And then we'll hopefully get allies with 
yeah, Mombasa next turn as long as they don't get diplomatic marriaged. What are these galleasses moving around? I hope they're not coming for Athens. Yeah, we're allied with Mombasa right now. That gives us Wales. That's good. Oh, you know what? I just realised. So um, we were, I, I looked at Kuala Lumpur earlier, and we were like, oh, they've got Wales, which means we uh, you know, we we're getting Wales from them. So why get Wales from Mombasa? Well, this I said it earlier in the stream. And I totally forgot about it. But Kuala Lumpur has a coastal luxury, but they're not coastal. <laughs> we're gonna have to gift them a water boat if we want them in, to improve those Wales. Definitely schools time. We're getting a factory here and then we've got our school going. Great. Well, this is rounding out into quite a nice empire now, thankfully. We can send this as food straight into Athens. Grow the capital just to get it to like maximum kind of size before we end the game. Go away there. And we can finish the road to Mombasa, which is going to be just perfect to really secure our alliance. Oh, there's a Gatling gun over there. We're definitely going to need this crossbow. Could do with buying this hill now. Let's just buy that. So we can work it. Go wait on this hill. And go wait in this jungle, I guess, when we're ready. We've still got this um, chariot up there that we don't need anymore. It was making sure barbs didn't spawn, but barbs can't spawn there anymore. Getting this road down. What else do we need? We need to send a trade route to Belgrade. We probably should have done that. I mean, we're 91 behind, but we probably should have done it. Sell horses. Just because if we are thinking about diplomacy as Greece, you know, every little really does help. Yeah, let's do this deal again. We, I mean, we could have tried to see if we could get it perhaps, but, you know. We've got a trebuchet now. Okay. Means we can delete our hot blight and just replace it. Just keep kind of all these new units that we get from city states. Just keep swapping them around for the units that we've got in to modernise what we have of our army. And we've got another scientist born. Brilliant. That's three now. We're probably looking for about seven in the end game on five cities. Seven should be enough, at least judging from the previous games that I've played with five cities. Seven will be probably all that we need. So we've got a few now. Wait there. Wait there. Wait there. we got this road done. Um, oh. Can't really get out of here. Okay. We'll wait on that as well. Nearly got all of our factories done. We're still building Big Ben in Athens. We should get the stock exchange. We're going to do Greece things. To be honest, the most important thing for trying diplomacy victory is probably to make sure we've got our golden ages going. We have got our national epic up, right? Yeah, we do. So it's as good as we can, and we do have a garden in this city. But yeah, getting golden ages going will actually probably be the most important thing for... If we're going to go... Greece. It's a bit, it's, it's one of these things that I realised uh, a little while ago actually when playing, you know, only a few days ago. Of course, I've been playing for a long time now. Is that um, if you want, we'll just remove this road. We don't need to remove the other one. I guess it's only one, one GPT. But um, Golden Ages are actually kind of the secret to having lots of gold per turn. Like, you can, you know, you can build your stock exchanges and your banks and all of that, but I mean, you know, I guess you can probably relate to me in that you know, the, you've played some games, right, where you, you build every single money building you can and your gold per turn still isn't that good. And that's precisely because, like, I mean, you can only generate so much gold with your cities, especially if you're not working tons of luxury resources. And that's, you know, typically not all that available to you. So the golden age is really where you start getting your gold, which is why it's not bulk, which is why using those artists for golden age bulbs, as opposed to turning them into great works, is so powerful. Because that's where you really start making, making bank. Not to mention the culture boost from the Golden Age, which is actually really quite significant. We need a Hermitage. We should work towards that soon. We grew in this city. Just start working this. It, so technically, it would be good for us to work this factory slot right now. And I think it still is, but we need to manage that carefully to make sure we don't generate any engineers. In this city, again, better because we've got civil society. Could probably actually just work this. And then, um, yeah, just you know, play around with these food tiles or something. In the cap, unfortunately, because we worked engineers before, we're not going to be able to squeeze in another engineer. But we can do banks and stuff when we get the chance. Well, there was a trading post over here. Same deal, actually. We can't really afford to build a work an engineer slot yet. In this city, we might. 
And it does harm our growth rate a bit. No, nope, we can't afford to work that yet. So we'll just go back to being food. I'm trying to try and squeeze more food out of here, actually. And we grew in Gnosis. That's okay. Just pause all of these workers that have nothing to do. Oh, there's a Polynesian city over there. We can finally take out this barb camp for Belgrade. We need to try and find a way to get those spices for Budapest. The Maya are guarded for whatever it is. We built, one, we built like two wonders and they apparently covet the wonders that we've got. We built Sistine Chapel and Hang Gardens. And apparently they're guarded about that. Interesting. Well, as long as they don't declare war on us, it's fine. We need to start Arabia down. Who can they war? Austria. They won't war Austria. Austria will war them. For like 5 GPT. 6. Ah, okay, that's good. So we've got Arabia at war with Austria now. And perhaps we get them at war with Polynesia too. 22 GPT doesn't sound like we can do that. Maybe these guys will... No, these guys won't do it. We can't really afford to give away all of our gold for that. And almost. We could do this gold quest in a minute. 70 influence actually takes us to within a, a whisker of getting them right now. I don't know how we get truffles, though. They have truffles or something. Any of these city states have truffles? It's like kind of like wine, spices, gold, wine, furs. So this is where the furs are in Zurich. No way we're going to get Zurich. Kathmandu's got the spices again. Silken jewellery in Colombo. Could get past Austria and Colombo and then the wine here. So truffles appears to be something that someone has. So if we can find who's got it. Yeah, not yet. Okay, well, we'll wait. Big Ben though. Nice. Three wonders. I tell you what, I didn't expect to be getting wonders on this start. I really didn't. But we have. Which is a pretty good position to be in. Our scores are up pretty late. But we're nearly at labs, and it's only turn 145. So actually, we're, we're a bit away away from labs. <laughs> it's going to be a pretty late labs, but hopefully we'll snowball a bit on this empire because um, it is five cities. Let's just go there. We're done with that tire now. We probably don't. We just just need this worker to wait around in case we get oil here or something. Hello. Okay. Oh, in we go. I can't clear for Budapest. Golden Age sadly ended. Oh, hey, we've got a research agreement come through. Nice. We should probably sign that back. Clear the, clear the barb camp. Get some quests. We grew. Uh, we definitely can and should work a merchant slot right now. And in Sparta. Uh, again, we should work this school slot. This dies isn't actually all that great. We should work a bank slot for the extra um, science from secularism. Over here we're doing what we can, doing what we can here. Probably could work a market slot if we wanted in this city. Don't have a market here. Yeah, we need the Hermitage next. Need to remember that, so I guess we get opera houses. Amphitheatre. Amphitheatre. Yeah. Opera house and then the stock exchange. Over here, opera house and then the bank. Market here. Shrine probably first before the market. Even probably crank out the shrine now because that was going to be more valuable soon. Stock exchange in there, okay. It would be really good to get these truffles. I don't know how we get these truffles, but that would be really good. We're going to have to keep checking. I don't see them anywhere. That's a real shame. I don't know where those truffles have gone. Oh, good, yeah. We wanted to get that research agreement back. We're we still friends with these guys. We should pay for research agreement right now before we lose this friendship. Hello, Hamahamaha needs 87. See how many gold per turn we can get for it. Four. Three. Okay. There we go. Yep, four research agreements to come through. So that's going to be pretty good for us. That's going to power th us through a lot of the late game tech tree. Hopefully some of these other research agreements that we sign will push us towards labs now. Because we need them to help make up for some really poor lab timing. Five turns, 13 turns. Okay. So in a little bit of time, but yeah, one another one of these research agreements will come through and help us get to labs. Which is what we need, because otherwise it's going to be super, super late labs. 
I mean, super, super late labs was is definitely to be expected in this empire because the situation is just so bad. But nonetheless, we still want to get to like T160 labs at the very latest, which it looks like we're going to do. Uh, okay, we're going to get statue. We want to see probably how long it's going to take us to build statue. 10% production when building buildings. Let's get a windmill. We've actually finished schools in a few of these other cities, so we definitely want to go get those up. It would be nice to hard build statue because we haven't got a lot of faith. We'd want to purchase one scientist and one engineer in the late game. Because purchasing two scientists is probably not going to happen. Do that. Seems okay right now. Need to work this school slot. Don't really want to give up any production because we need it all, so I guess we give up the market slot first. We actually probably need all the production in this city too. So let's yeah, let's do that and give up the market slot for a little bit. That's gonna reduce our science, but we just um kind of need a bit of hammers right now. So we'll do that. It's a really uncomfortable position to be in the amount of hammers that we've got. It's not very good. It's mostly just a symptom of not having a lot of population. But it's kind of, it was really difficult to eke out any population from these lands, if I'm honest. We should probably stagnate Corinth, actually, in just a minute. Maybe in eight turns after it finishes its growth. Stagnation. We'll aim to stagnate all of our cities by turn 160 for labs. Doing this hermitage, because we're, we're a long way out in terms of social policies. We still need one, two, three, four, five. We still need five more social policies right now. We're not going to be able to build a stock exchange. We need the Hermitage. We're probably going to need a Broadcast Tower as well. Despite the Sistine Chapel and all of our cultural ally and our cultural alliance, we might actually still need more. We were going to go try and get Milan, but they self-cleared their own camp and then got bought by diplomatic marriage. But yeah, we're going to build this Windmill to, so that we can try and hard build Statue. Then we're probably going to have to not build statue yet, but we're going to have to go through our amphitheater and the opera house before we can go build the hermitage. No one else is freedom, I don't think. Kathmandu wants an engineer, but I would really like to save the engineer for statue of, uh, for Hubble Space Telescope. So we're probably going to need to be... I mean, if we're going to end up sciencing this endgame, we're going to need to be working lots of research. I really wanted to do domination victory for this game, actually, but we're just so isolated. It doesn't make any sense. We've got a long way to go in this map. Okay, Sparta's done with this opera house. It probably might have actually made more sense to go for the windmill because we're so low production. And then windmill so we build the labs faster, maybe. And then Athens is going to grow to some stuff. Cool. We could do with working a factory slot here, but we just can't. So maybe it's more market slots we try and work. 13 turns for that growth. I think this is a grow one more time and stagnate. This is a grow one more time and stagnate. These cities can grow a little bit before we stagnate. We're actually up to 88 population right now, which is good. I've set ourselves a target of 100. So we'll see if we get it. Sorry, this has caused a divide between us. Let's just check that no one's going freedom. Piety explo, piety patronage, order, order, autocracy. Autocracy 8 from... Austria. Wow. And we've gone to minus two happiness. Why is that? Oh, I see. A deal ended. The spy has been recruited. Okay. Well, hold on a minute. We'll do that. We probably need the extra science more than we need the production. We work another market slot? No, it's way too fine production it is. We've got this deal end with Maria Theresa. Gold for dies. Okay. And then we have a person now. So we can go in Hanoi. We're 22 behind in Hanoi. Their Lux is wine. I think we're trading for wine right now. Belgrade's Lux is silk. I don't think we're trading for silk. We could row to Belgrade and then put our spy in it. So let's go for Belgrade next. They'll give us some units as well so we don't have to build too many in the late game. And then let's just get this road done to them. run this worker over. I don't know what's the quickest road. Probably just across the, across the top of that mountain range. I've got full movement on this scout now. Nice. Four interesting cities. 
Because I need to send this worker over to do that stuff. How did this end up here? Cool. <laughs> the writer we do have a writer saved she's host probably still arabia it is he wants to ban gold that's not good oh we need this opera house statue of liberty's nine turns okay that's not the worst thing in the world nine turn statue i think we can get hermitage off oh, no, we got nossa still okay we can put a couple of turns into statue and then come back to hermitage whenever nossos is done with it and then sort of flip-flop between statue hermitage and labs and we're back to being unhappy and again we've got six unhappiness that's probably now where um yeah public opinion for new ideology is kicking in that's the risk of going freedom but we did really need that food it's it is kind of slowing us down right now war inventory there what on earth I think this one goes there this one needs to come up there and this worker will be the one that comes in over there for, with the scientist this over okay can we buy out a city state right now or something to make ourselves happy almost wants gold so we can't really do that but it does have spices now we'll get the spices for budapest which is kind of wine okay so we probably want to try and buy out almost how much do we need 72 we might need to take out a loan to do that oh we actually lost two deals this turn gems for wales and then this citrus if we can get it for nine Okay, that's it. What's he going to take for this? 14 gold per turn. World religion, Hinduism, no. Open borders and a horse. We kind of need it. It's a lot. I guess we'll just do it. We need the happiness. And then we actually do need to try and buy out Ormus. And they need... We need 72. Which is actually 1,000 gold. Um, what would it take to get 1,000 gold? We can only get 666 for our 29 GPT. That would actually be enough 666, actually. Grüß Gott. Ich sehe, oh, 28. Man in neun okay, and then we just need to sell this last one. Grüß Gott. Okay, and then we can go get Ormus. Bam. Okay, that gives us spices, which hopefully gets another city-state. That's probably a massive waste of gold, but... We kind of need the happiness right now, and we need to sort of start acquiring some of these. We need to build the stock exchange in Athens, really. Let's just do that, and the statue just the statue's just gonna just gonna have to come when it comes. It's really strong, though. We need statue. Sorry, this caused a divide between us. We can probably um avoid the gold for a little bit. Just build statue next. We need to get this research agreement again with Arabia, but we don't have any gold right now. Uh. Yeah, we were selling horses to Woo, but it doesn't seem, really seem worthwhile anymore. Maybe we're going to get some gold by building all these banks everywhere or something. Could even just work a market slot here. Statue in nine. Let's get, let's get the stock exchange. Statue's good, but we have a bit short on gold right now. What's probably prime position to get rid of? This trebuchet needs to be gotten rid of. Let's delete the trebuchet. A little bit more gold. Scientist just stands around. Let's get moving in so we can get this road to the city state. It's kind of a bit of an all in city state road rush right now, but we, we absolutely need some allies to make up for all the happiness that we're being taxed on for going a different ideology to the rest of the world. Austrian ally of Budapest. They're mine. Oh. Hey, she doesn't want that anymore, but we can maybe give do some dealing with Polynesia. Get our gold pattern out of the dumps. Okay. Uh We need to secure this spot if we can. And just build some road tiles. See so if we can delete this road over there now that we are actually kind of low in GPT. Should perhaps delete that. Probably delete our scout and delete that spare crossbowman. Maybe we'll do that next turn. Okay, policy. 
going to need to be the happiness one next. Mint banks and stock exchanges are probably better for us. Just because we're building loads in all of our cities. We are five cities after all. And we're building a stock exchange in the cap. Yeah, we should delete the scout. It's not really doing anything for us now. We can delete one of these like spare units or something as well. Like that, that random crossbowman that's out here right now. Not needed. Barb camp quests, I guess, aren't much of a thing. Not that we're going to be able to deal with the barb camp with the crossbowman. So let's just delete the crossbowman. And then this scout is pretty useless in the sea as well. So we'll delete that. Bit of extra gold per turn. Oh, nice. We got loads from getting those stock exchanges up, which is pretty cool. Opera house. Oh, we built a market instead of the opera house in there. Oh, we'll see if we can wait and get clear that road eventually. Bam, in there. We need that tile. This worker can wait. Um, these workers can all shuffle. We can't even actually get up there anymore. Oh well. Bringing this worker along was a bit of a waste. But we'll keep it there just in case we can find a way. Hermitage can get up at some point in time. Maybe we build our musicians guild as well at some point. Another golden age coming in time for labs. Which is pretty cool. We've got 28 GPT without labs. So again good position. Which is nice. We build this windmill up in Sparta. Hopefully that means we don't spend a literal age building our labs there. Okay, we're good now. This city, definitely stagnation time. We're going to need to keep sending it food as well, unfortunately. Uh, well, I guess, I mean, we work food for now. Till labs. Oh, look, we've got a zoo left here. And a temple. Cool. Oh, no, we wanted to delete that road. That's why we're there. Hanoi needs silk, which means we need Belgrade. Well, we can get silk for them eventually um, with Belgrade. We are actually trying to rig in Belgrade and we're going to complete this road quest for them. We're growing one. We can actually get 3.2 food here and just grow in one turn. Pretty inconsequential right now, I guess, but <laughs> we'll go for it. Don't, I don't know if we finish statue or go straight into labs in our capital. Probably go straight into the lab, given that it's going to be like turn 160 labs, which is pretty late. Here's Kremlin. Just want to check that no AIs have gone freedom again. Delete that road. There's some gold. Oh, Valetta, hello. Yeah, this tile is available now. But we've now got it with those guys. Well, we just want to stay here, I think. And be ready to delete these workers, or delete these roads when it's done. And we can delete this Gatling gun now, because we've got another... We've got Great War Infantry. And we've got this for labs when we need to build them, which will be in two turns. Let's leave that. Apollo program has been built. Our coal deals have ended. Let's go, go, go do those again. I can't believe an AI is actually already at Apollo program. It looks like we weren't particularly successful in slowing Arabia down. It really sucks to lose to Arabia, but it might happen. Yeah, so Belgrade wants a road and we are 86 behind. We then need to send them that trade route, which we can. We'll probably just send them the next one. We got gifted a Lancer. Okay. We'll delete another one of our units. I'll probably eat another one of these Gatling. No, this, this crossbowman is pretty useless now. So we'll delete that instead. And then we'll move this Gatling gun along to Nossos. Looks like we've got a cargo. I don't know where it was going. But we can send it to Belgrade for the trade route. Where was it going? Nossos. Okay, Nossos is about 17, so I think Nossos is pretty done. Uh, no, 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 let's not do it to Nossos again. We need to capture Belgrade for the trade route. I think this road is going to be completed. And we can delete that road as soon as we're done. Yeah, so Nossos looks pretty done in terms of growth. Market, good. Good stuff. That's nice. Yeah, it's actually, I mean, it could have grown once more, but I think we stopped there. We're up to 93 population now. 
We do have an observatory in the capital, though, and we're 659 science, three labs, which is all right. We're a bit slow, obviously, in the science, which is not great. We're still 10... Oh, wow, we're still, like, 16% behind Arabia. Still connected for Hanoi. Good. And it's lab time. This Lancer goes in Argos. Bring that out. Okay, so we've done this road quest. Now we need to delete the whole road. There we go. And what's road delete? Alt, control, R. Okay. Uh, yeah, remove the road, sure. Don't need any roads there. And then these workers go back to wherever they were before. Loads of coal deals ended. We can redo those for gold per turn. Work some more gold. Probably actually work a second merchant slot in the city. Need to choose some... Pro okay, we finished the opera house. So it's labs. Labs, labs, labs. Labs everywhere. It's labs before statue, I guess. Lab up here. 10 turn labs. Really, really slow. It's just a symptom again of our low population. In general, just low production in this land overall. And let's go for fertilizer to get some food. And then perhaps we, we make our way to biology to go and find that oil and that extra trade route. Uh, okay, we need to deal coal. That's what we forgot. We need to deal coal and we've got 70 GPT right now, which is pretty cool. Wu keeps trying to buy these dyes, but like... Oh, I bet Wu's just doing really bad deals. So we need to sell all of this coal. We've acquired... We're up to five allies now, actually, which is pretty good. Just keep accumulating that GPT, keep getting that gold. We might get ourselves up to a respectable number of allies. We probably need like 12 to win a diplomatic victory, though, at least 12 allies, I imagine. So we might be a long way away from that. This guy wants to buy my dies as well. Oh. But, you know, we're, we're getting there. It's Greece. Research agreement comes through. Whose research agreement was that? Spain. We definitely need that back. Nice, we got chemistry now and fertilizer. So, oh, Arabia's one expired as well, actually, a while ago. We should have got that back. Spain's one. Saludos. We need 202 gold for that. Spain is three cities, 51 pop. Probably not worth expending the gold on Spain for that. So where were we? We were standing on all of these tiles waiting for them to go into our borders and I don't think we acquired a single one of them while we were away trying to build this road for the city-state. Golden Age, okay. Eight turns. We can bob the writer. Hopefully we get a second writer so that'll be one social policy. Statue's another and then we just need to find two more social policies by the end of the game. That's what we're doing Hermitage for. We'll do it after the lab. Belgrade declared one Isabella and it looks like we lost Belgrade. Makes us unhappy again. We were uh, we were buying ivory, that's why. And we were actually also buying marble, apparently. So it was ivory for iron, which apparently doesn't need any more. But a Kamehameha will do ivory for iron. Good news. And then we can purchase this marble again from Harun al-Rashid. And then what have we got? Okay. Still a bit of a rough happiness position, but maybe bulbing two more writers will put us in a slightly better happiness position. Now this worker can go get that trading post, and then this worker can just go stand there. That mine's not even useful for anything. This is actually kind of growing a bit again now. I'm not entirely sure we planned for that. We need these truffles wherever they went. We need them. 34 behind Austria in Belgrade. We are going to rig in Belgrade next turn. We need to find these truffles. Where on earth are the truffles? Genuinely don't know. Like, where on earth are the truffles? All the city states want them. It would be really good to get them right now because that would secure our alliances. Um, I was selling our marble. We should do that again. 90 GPT is not bad right now. It's not good because we've got a stock exchange in our capital, but it's not bad. 
GPT to Maria Teresa ended. Wine and dies with Isabella. Sugar from Maria Teresa. Okay. Good Need to buy back that. Um, oh, and we had a deal with Isabella that just ended, unfortunately. We can sell the dies back. Saludos. Well, that's happiness that we're not going to get back. Just go stand on this road. That trading post. Lab next turn in the capital. We can actually sell iron. Then 162 for the lab in the capitals. That's pretty slow. And now Rashid has gone into the information era. Oh my god. Are we going to get totally mugged by the AI here? Like the AI is just going to go on some absolutely ridiculous science game and build a spaceship and beat us before we have anything to do about it. It'd be kind of interesting. It's a shame because I really like. I feel like we've done well with Greece here. Like, with this start, I feel like we've done really well with it. Corinth for food, this was. Corinth has actually got enough food now, so that's in production. We're up to 95 population, so we are probably going to hit our 100, I guess, by the end game. Target that we were looking for. 725 science right now. We need to work this lab slot. I'm just going to grow in one, so let's just do that. Statue, Hermitage... Go statue first, Hermitage, Musicians Guild, something like that. And we choose a host. We can make it Arabia one last time. And then it's going to be us. We've actually already got 12 votes, which is good. We need to get some more, though. We need to turn Belgrade around to our side. Um, no, you're too weak. Nine for Belgrade we need. So we can probably just drop. Probably only want to drop 250 and then... Because we've already got a spy in there. Probably don't want to expend much. Let's just give them the 250. Let me green out. Um, it's probably time to stagnate in the cap for maximum science. But maybe we can do that when the Musicians Guild arrives. But it definitely feels like stagnation time. We need to check how many scientists we're up to. Because as I said, I reckon we're going to need about 7 or perhaps 8 hard generated scientists to win this game. Unit list. One, two, three. We're up to five right now, so we probably need two more. We're going to generate one in Corinth and one in Sparta, and actually one in Nossos. So I reckon we can get up to eight before we build the Hubble Space Telescope. And so I think that'll be enough to push us through to the end of the game. Uh, with Since we're pretty isolated, it doesn't look like we're going to get ward anytime soon. I think we'll take the gold policy and um, rationalism with the Statue of Liberty social policy. Ah, brilliant, yes. So this is what we were talking about. Earlier in the game, I mentioned this desert was probably going to turn into oil, but here it is. So that's an extra mine for us. Well, it's the equivalent of a mine anyway, because it's going to be for production on a flat desert. And then we have another oil right here, underneath the scientist. Golden Age is nearly done. We need to bring a worker around for this oil. Swap it with a scientist for one turn. Okay. Right, Budapest. How far behind are we? 46, and they want an admiral. Well, there's no way we're getting an Admiral, but 46 can be overcome with like a gold gift and a... When we enter the Atomic Era, perhaps. Um, we don't need refrigeration yet, so let's get Railroad. We're not really ready for Railroad, but alas. World Religion Hinduism. We don't really want that. Actually, we don't really care. We'd rather not. Who is, whose is Hinduism, anyway? Where even is it? There. It is the Mayan religion? No, Palenque. Yeah, it's the Maya, old Mayan religion. Hinduism. Gardens? Right. I mean, we probably just want to abstain, to be honest. If we get Hinduism in some cities, great. But we're currently Catholic. Not really giving us anything good, but we are we are following it. Right, we've got Rationalism and Oxford saved, though, so that's a good position to be in as well. We're a bit behind in the science for sure, but Rationalism and Oxford are saved. We have to remember that. This is going to be pretty important. Yeah, well, someone banged gold. We didn't really want that. We should have probably downvoted it. Oh, zoo then. <laughs> sure. Let's turn around and immediately go for a zoo. There we go. Fully stagnating here now. Brilliant. 
I don't think we're even sending this a trade route, are we? Not sauce. No, we're not even sending a trade route. So that's great. It's going to be like this for the rest of the game. This is good. 56. It is what it is. Railroads will make it reasonable. In the cap, we'll grow in three and then stagnate it. I guess we'll grow in four in here and then stagnate as well. We're a bit ropey on the food, to be honest. We don't need to grow here at all. Growing is totally pointless in this city. We can't really afford to take this off, though. Because it's providing us with the food. So it's going to be like this. And let's take a void growth to make sure we don't grow. One more in here is fine. Definitely don't grow here. One more here is fine. Do we need to grow one more here? It'd actually be kind of valuable to grow one more here. So maybe that's where our three growths come from. One, one, one. Four goes down to one. Build a couple of zoos. And then that'll be it. And then hopefully we can just sit on that amount of happiness until the end game. We've got minus 19 from public opinion right now. It's going to be pretty difficult to go any lower, I think. Let's move on to like a trading post, perhaps. Yeah, because we can't really afford to work any specialists until we get this musician's guild up. It's fine, we'll do that. And then, yeah, get this scientist back to standing around. It's a pretty difficult happiness position, but... Uh, we can't really acquire any more, either. Unless we friend up some more city-states. Well, hopefully we'll get a couple of writers or something that can, we can push through. And we can build stadiums if we have to. Oh, hey. Well, we never got this fish for Argos. Lab. Yeah, and then we stagnate for the end game. We finished the stock exchange here. That's good. Harbour. An immediate harbour will get us our railroads up immediately. And then we'll go for the zoo because we need that happiness. We've actually avoided building zoos in a lot of these expansions, which is... Probably actually quite crucial. It allowed us to actually focus our production on important things throughout you know, the critical mid-game positions. So we actually only have zoos up in... We actually only have zoos up in two cities right now, which is good. So we've got loads of happiness to move into. This is actually going to take us to 99 pop. Of this writer at the end. This golden age. Uh, yes, we'll keep this deal. We're getting another writer soon. 12 turns for the writer. Well, I guess we'll chain it after another artist at some point. We'll probably get one more artist before the end game. So Argos grew. So Argos is done. Work in its lab. We can actually put another merchant slot in if we so wish. And we definitely can. Are we sending it? We're not sending it. Yeah, we are sending a cargo. Well, when the cargo finishes, we can um, swap out a couple of the merchant slots or something. Yeah. And we want to yeah, avoid growth there. Cap grows in one. That's actually an odd-numbered growth in the cap, so we didn't even actually use up a, pop a happiness point for that. And then, yeah, this is going to grow in two. I don't suppose we can get that down to one. We actually can. Oh, no, we didn't. There we go. We can get it down to one. And then we just finish there while we're thinking about it. Just stand around some workers. Still didn't expand to any of those hills. Building these oil wells as well. Cool, we get the musician skilled in the capital, so that's more science to be worked. We actually need to make sure we're working on our labs, all of our lab slots in a minute. It looks like we're at max science, and it's actually going to be a little bit lower than I expected for 955. Polynesian freedom. Okay, we've got a freedom friend. That's nice. And we can go for one of these tenants. What do we take? We get absolutely nothing from New Deal. Um, happiness from water mill. We've got like one water mill. Um, volunteer army. Or Arsenal Democracy. Arsenal Democracy perhaps. Because if we want to go diplomatic victory. That will actually come in quite helpful. We haven't got scientists in every city right now. Let's just go put one in. Just sort of shuffle some scientists around a bit. Don't really like leaving the scientists too exposed. They're exposed at the capital. But we're trying not to do it anywhere else. Okay, um, East India, harbour, that'll be immediate railroads up, harbour for immediate railroads, harbour is immediate railroads, then we can go bank, and a temple perhaps. And Polynesian freedom, cool. Well I guess Polynesia going freedom is what got our happiness in the correct place. We want the musicians guild now, and I, I mean we are, are we done in the capital? We're at 99. 99. We're probably done though. Okay, we need to work a lab slot. That's this city done as well. We can take that off. 
What can we work? Windmill slot? Yes. Merchant slot again, for sure. You can actually work a second merchant slot. 42. Let's even work a third. We don't have one yet. Okay, well, that then, for now. And then, yeah, we're working all of our jungle. We're just going to get a stock exchange here. That's going to be pretty big for gold per turn. We're going for harbours everywhere. Let's grab a harbour there. And did we get a harbour here? Yes, okay, so we're going to be harbours in every city for railroad in two turns. That's going to immediately give us the production boost. We need the cargo ship as well. We have one cargo available to us, so maybe that's what we build in Athens next. I guess maybe we try and take Athens to 28, given that we're so excruciatingly close to 100 pop. It's symbolic. We'll do it for um, morale. Perhaps we'll say, yeah, so Argos is now done. It is minus 9. We can definitely get it, the minus 9 back. Oh, we're actually at minus 2 right now. So if we take these off, perhaps we we'll go one in the bank and one in the market. We've had, we've had to give up quite a lot of production in this city, but we don't really need it anymore. Actually get a seaport. That'd be good. We expanded some oil. Oh, we got oil here. Nice. That oil is pretty good. We can actually work that and then build a work boat for it. Excellent. Okay, and then this cargo finished and it was food to Argos. So now it probably needs to be... Unless we can get a strategic trade route. Kuala Lumpur. They've been our all-game allies. Singapore, perhaps. We are 156 behind in Singapore. Let's send this one to Argos and the next one goes to Singapore. That sounds like a plan. And that goes in Sparta. And this goes in Argos. Let's wait, I guess. I actually could get a fishing boat on this tile. Okay, and we're actually up to 70 production building fishing boats pre-railroads. Oh, okay, so Spain, oh, that's why we've got so much happiness. Spain and Polynesia both just went freedom. That is really useful for us. Because now we're not going to have happiness problems. And in comes railroads. So everywhere apart from Sparta should have a railroad connection. We do, we will need to build our railroads eventually. Um, where does, it, where does this need to go? We will need to build our railroads eventually. Okay, so we just, uh, we need to send the, the trade route to someone, don't we? It doesn't need to be to them, so it's to Singapore. Okay. Yeah, we will need to build our railroads to our cities eventually, because we are going to be wanting to transport. Oh, wow, a Berber Cavalry. That's really cool. Berber Cavalries are really cool because they have Homeland Guardian, 25% combat bonus in territory, and then Desert Warrior for another like huge combat bonus. Berber Cavalry is absolutely insane defending in desert. So I guess we can delete this Lancer. Yeah, this worker boat. It didn't cost us any turns on the seaport because the seaport would have been three turns last turn anyway. Okay, we're sending gold per turn to someone to declare war on Arabia. So I guess that's done now. We could sell oil. We could actually get a seaport. That would be good. Seaport here as well would be quite, use, quite useful. Eventually. And a forge. If you can build a forge, might as well get a forge. Okay, and we finish the cargo here. We are going to need the museum and the broadcast tower perhaps to get through our social... Actually, we don't need to get through our social policies at all. We just did this, which is six. How much is this? This is five. That's six turns is better, just like that. Okay. So we're at railroad. Nice. Um, radar next. We're going to go for it via ballistics. And, oh, no. We need refrigeration first. Lol. We built that work boat for something, and we don't even have the tech to put it down. Hey, yeah, that pop in the capital would be quite valuable for us anyway, right? Because we've got the observatory in our capital. The Pentagon goes. How many percent are we behind right now? Still 16% behind Arabia. We are, we do have, have 994 science. We just got a research agreement come through. Let's build these railroads. Um, yeah, we should stop doing stupid stuff with these workers and build railroads. No, this work is totally pointless in here. And this Berber cavalry was coming actually to go fill in over here. 
we can oh, we don't we, want, we don't even want to delete this anymore right we want to give this away to um whoever we just got that thingy with budapest perhaps we're 45 behind in budapest short gift to budapest we can actually start gifting away all these units we've been given by city states as well just, like gift away stuff like these caravels as well we can build the oil well because we um here we go because we just got that research agreement come through yeah, and this guy comes in to start helping build some railroads. This cargo is done. Where was it going? It was production to Sparta, so it can continue to be production to Sparta. We need all the production we can get right now. Just get this fishing boat down. Uh, yeah, workers. Railroad. Railroad. So as I was saying, we definitely want railroads to all of our cities. Because we're going to need to transport spaceship parts, perhaps, between them. See if we can get one more yeah, research got... agreement. We're not friends. We're friends? Yeah. No. Okay, no more there. Polynesia, perhaps? Okay, well, we got one with Polynesia. If it comes to it, we'll get it, I guess. Um, seaport for sure. Actually, Seaport's not even really worth a lot. Really, little kind of does help. Don't know. Seaport's not really worth a lot here either. Broadcast out is. World leader. Okay. So we can vote us now. I guess. Um, Greece. And then we can... Uh, we need Singapore as well. We need to gift units to Singapore. But we're kind of 114 behind. So perhaps we don't gift units to Singapore. What we'll do is if we can get... If we can ever get that freedom policy. Which actually we never will. But if we could, we could just start gifting all those freedom infantry away. We should probably actually build some units so that we can gift them away. Like if there's anything cheap that we can build, we should totally build it. So let's see if we can build some cheap units in some of these cities that we've got. Uh, I'll just start there because that's going to be easier. Get this scientist out, bring this in. Okay, right, and um, this caravel needs to go to Singapore. We finished a seaport in here. We build a hospital. No, we need to build cheap units. That's what we need right now. Cheap units. Or cargo first. Lancer. Yes. We like just do a round of lancers or something. That's a cheap unit. Okay, we need to make a proposal. World ideology would kind of annoy everyone, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd annoy all the powerful civs on the map as well. Probably just something very innocuous like... um, do need like... Yeah, cultural heritage sites. And we can just like build a few lances just to like give to city-states. Because we've got that freedom policy now. And maybe that'll help kind of secure our influence where it needs securing. And then actually help give us some allies where we can actually gain allies. We've got one more scientist. Cool. Just kind of sit it around, I guess. Probably shouldn't sit it around on the road tiles. Um, let's do this so that we remember... And then this Lancer immediately gets gifted. We actually just gave it to Singapore, didn't we? Yeah, so we got to wait a bit for this, but it's fine. We'll just sit the Lancer on the road, build a new Lancer. This, these workers can come out to play. We're getting these railroads because we are going to need to transport spaceship parts. We've got a forge. Again, nothing useful. Why not just build another Lancer? We can just start gif giving all of these Lancers away for 20 influence everywhere we need to. Anyway, we are 14% behind Arabia right now, which is actually not a bad position to be in. We forgot to bulb this writer at the end of our Golden Age, so we'll just do it now. Actually, we got Broadcast out, so we might as well just wait. Got our first musician turned 174. Nice. Um, we should think about bulbing soon, actually. Kind of at maximum science right now. Do we work here? No, we don't. No, we'll, we'll handle it. We should definitely think about bulbing soon. What do we need? Don't need a lot here. Don't need a lot. Don't, don't have airports available yet. Yeah, we'll get this cargo. We finish the seaport here. We'll get another Lancer. We just like take a round of Lancers in some of our cities and then sort of be done with that. 
lances for gifting. Oh, we actually got gifted an artillery, so we can just gift that back to something. A gift to Budapest yet? Yes, artillery. And we can't gift to these guys yet, can we? No. Anyone who we actually have a reasonable chance of taking? 114 in Kathmandu. Okay. So we can maybe try and work on Kathmandu as well. So we can start giving away these lances. And sort of wait the lances around and let them do their thing. Okay, yeah, we, we, we really should consider Bulbing Sink because we're definitely a max science. And we if we're going to accelerate our way to victory, we need to be building the Apollo program like now. Uh, wait, how many scientists did we have? We're going to get one more. And we had... One, two, three, four, five, six. So we had seven, and we're going to get one more for eight. So eight is probably all we need, so that's good. Two. Three. And then we're going to get two with Hubble, and then one with a Faith Purchase, probably. Someone wants us to build Neuschwanstein. Um, we might take Singapore if we put this dude in Singapore. Okay, and we're going to get rocketry next turn, and then that's when we start building Apollo and whichever program can do it. Turn 174, we're going to start catching Arabia up now. 9% behind. Sure, oh, the Maya actually hated it. Wow. Okay, Arabia built Apollo. Well, we are not going to get those scientists. Well, well, well. Interesting. Well, okay, what do we need? So we need to build the Apollo program in the cap, and then we're just going to work research. After we get these random lances out, I think. After we get the seaport here. Got a cargo done. Production to Nossos. Uh, what do we do? This needs to do a railroad there. Answer is done. Don't really know where we do and don't have railroads now. It's a bit confusing, really. This jungle road, I guess. Put a railroad down there. This trade route finished. It was a food to Athens. Let's make it production to Athens. This dude finished. Probably there. We give away to Singapore. Yes, we can. Lancer. Off you go. We might need to... Well, I mean, we can purchase two scientists now. So we're actually probably only down one as a result of losing Hubble. Not the worst thing in the world. Maybe we can actually hard generate another one too. Uh, this writer is kind of done. We'll save the writer, see if there's anything useful we can do with them. Sleeper Lancer. Um, okay. I mean, are we railroads everywhere? Uh, there's a lot, we can probably go to strategic view and check, right? I can't really tell. Railroads this slightly different shade. Oh yeah, okay, so railroads are this sort of shade of brown that we have to look really deeply for in order to check we've got them all. It appears we have shades of brown everywhere now except for um, going to Corinth. So that's what we need. We need to get our shades of brown to Corinth and then we've got Maximum travelability of parts. Gone dies with Maria Theresa ended. Okay, apparently we can't get that back. And we need to actually keep working research for a bit and then we'll bulb at the very last minute. That's because we want to get maximum out of this bulbing. We need to work our way through to satellites. Advanced ballistics, I guess, to start building spaceship parts. We're definitely going to be a little bit short on science. Okay, there goes the scientist in Knossos. How long until the next one? Ten turns in Athens. Okay, so we're definitely going to get one more. So we probably actually didn't lose any as a result of going for, of losing Hubble. And that's just because um, we're going to... We would have purchased an engineer to engineer Hubble. And now we're just going to be able to purchase one more scientist. Um, and also we're going to probably just generate one more in ten turns. Um, we would have got the two scientists from Hubble within the next ten turns. And thus it would have moved the counter back so far. 
that we wouldn't have been able to um that we wouldn't have been able to generate another scientist. So it's actually worked out all right for us in the end to lose. Well, you know, it didn't actually matter to lose the Hubble Space Telescope, which is interesting, actually. Um, something I didn't expect to happen. I just thought it would be pretty central to the late game. Uh, we need to move this worker away because it's confusing our gift away to a city-state. There goes a Lancer. How many more of those have we got? We actually only need 32 to get allies with Budapest again. Can we give to Singapore? Not yet. We only need 95 there now. Oh, we can get a trading post on that tile. We probably should. We should work it as well, because that's just science at this point. Uh, yeah, we can avoid growth there. Don't need it. We actually never got to 100 pop. We're still at 99. Should we bomb these? 622. Seems reasonable to bomb them now. At least we know where we stand then. We can bold them after a golden age though. We don't need any of the policies right now. Let's just sort of spread the... We, we can delete some workers actually. We don't need them all. Let's delete like two workers now. Got some lancers and stuff hanging around. Yeah, well, yeah. Let's wait for, let's wait for this golden age. Kathmandu joins Austria. Man... We're trying for these city-states, but they're all just joining Austria. Declaration of friendship with Polynesia expired. We've actually got a research agreement with Arabia coming through in eight terms. That'll accelerate Arabia, but I guess it'll accelerate us too. We lost one. We lost Hanoi. 22, they want us to build Neuschwanstein, but... Um, where is Hanoi? We have a plan for that. Lancer. No, can, please. Give a gift. No... Oh, I just gave a thousand gold to them by accident. <laughs> Rip. Oh, cultural heritage sites, please. F to that. Oh, well. That was a big F moment. Uh, we were actually going for gold with Belgrade. We can probably, we actually probably do need the gold, to be honest. What's highest gold? Nikki Heaver. Done. Delete another worker here. And we are almost at Apollo. Oh, I'll tell you what we missed out on Hubble for. It's the building spaceship parts is just quicker with the Hubble Space Telescope. But I think, you know, even if it's like 15 turns for a science part, I think we're going to be good here. Can I actually request units now? That's so bad. This national game's passed. Athens grew to some... Okay, some oil has... Pretty inconsequential. Um, research. We don't really want to do the international games. Perhaps. I mean, we could try and win it, but we don't really need to. We instead actually just need to build scientists, science parts. Okay. So, we have three scientists left. We're going to hard generate one more and then buy two. Is there any way to squeeze out any more faith? Guess not. Well, how long will it be? I mean, we can purchase one of the scientists now. Well, how long will it be? So we need another 250. So it's actually another about four, 12 turns or something. This one. Um, are we ready for the rationalism finisher? No, the rationalism finisher should be in our next policy for nanotech. And then we um, we need to Oxford particle fizz. We've only got three scientists left right now, and we've got quite a few techs still to go. Outside. Okay, brilliant. So, spaceship parts. Nine turns, 19, 12, 13, 14, 9. Okay, 12, 13, 14. Oh, we haven't even got satellites for like a... Man, okay. Buy special parts for gold. Let's bulb one more for satellites. Two turns, that's fine. Okay, we've got a new spy. That can go in almost, I guess. It should probably actually go into a city state we need to defend, so Budapest. Oh, yeah, Budapest.
But I just want to hold the ones we've got at this point as opposed to trying to acquire any new ones. Let's put in Budapest. Athens did grow. Oh, we got to 100. Nice. Can we afford to work a market slot now? We can actually afford to work an engineer slot. Great. Uh, and now we need to actually build our spaceship parts. We're going to have to buy two in the end game. We are friends with Arabia, right? Yeah. We're probably going to have to buy two parts in the end game. I think we really don't want to be building any in Sparta. And then, yeah, all these cities. Satellites in two, and then let's make our way to robotics for the spaceship factories. We can use to speed up any last lagging parts. Looks like we're going to be done around about turn 200. So let's hope Arabia doesn't beat us there. But they haven't been putting any spaceship parts on yet. Oh, there goes the spaceship part. Another Berber cavalry. Which we can just gift away to something. Uh, like Budapest here. And the Berber cavalry. And Singapore. You can have a Lancer. The International games are just kind of rolling. Satellites next turn. That's what we're missing, the production bonus towards building spaceship parts. Because we are, instead of doing that, we're, we're not able to like work research right now. And that would be boosting us up to like 1100 or something. We've got another unit. Okay, well we've got satellites so we can now build the part in our capital. And then, yep, up to robotics for spaceship factories. Probably just trade away our coal for like 37 now. And actually, we're not going to need any oil. So can we trade away like 10 oil for 370? No, 5 oil for whatever half of that is, like um, 183 or something. I don't, I don't know. Right, how many oil do you want? 2 for 74. Must be doing bad maths right now. One for 37. Does he not want oil? Is that why I'm... Am I doing something... Oh, yeah, he doesn't want oil. Lol. China's not our friend, are they? We are friends with Polynesia. Okay. 10. For 370. She still wants more oil. Can only give you one for 35. That's fine. Okay. Could sell the oil for, like, two GPTs to... Woo. No, she doesn't do many good deals. Okay. Oh, Scott Nolly in chat says, what ideology did you go this game? Um, freedom. <laughs> we did freedom because for civil society to work with these specialist slots, we've got like no pop. We're at 100 population right now. If we'd gone order, we'd have been at like 90 or something. So we went freedom in the hopes to try and do that. And it seems to have worked out for us, I think. Um, we're sort of progressing nicely. We've got 100 population now. Um, we're going for, unfortunately, another like basic scientist victory. I did think about diplomacy because we are Greece for a while, but I don't think we're able to acquire enough city-states really in time to win the world leader proposal. We still need to acquire nine city-state allies and we only have you know, one, two, three. We can only actually get five because Austria has been diplomatic marriaging everyone. And um, we would have gone domination, but we're isolated in the corner with lots of lots of the world to go. And the AI are currently ahead of us in tech. Uh, we can start a golden age. When did I want to time the golden age to start? Oh, when we were building this part in the capital, which is now. We've got two scientists to purchase soon. And we have three of our own currently left. We've got two of our own currently left. And one coming. Okay. We should probably like, yeah. Combined arms. Okay. Two turns for computers and then robotics after that. We need to finish rationalism to buy those scientists. And we'll finish rationalism, I guess, when we get this next scientist come out in like four turns, was it? Yeah. Four turns in Athens. We'll finish rationalism with that scientist. And then that'll allow us to. Harun Rashid is competing with us for the spaceship right now. Let's hope we can beat him there. And we are golden aging now, are we? Yes, we are. We're golden aging now. Uh, yeah, interesting. We can probably we can give away this Lancer perhaps again to these guys. We've got Yeah, we've got a bazooka to give away to Singapore. We can give away the bazooka. 
Yeah, and then when the scientist comes through, we will finish robotics, and then we'll rationalism and finish nanotech, and then we just have to we'll get two more scientists. Oxford. We might struggle a little bit to beat Arabia to the end game here. But we're gonna do our very best. And I'll tell you what we need to do. Buy his aluminium. So that he can't build any more spaceship parts. <laughs> He's built another booster. Can we, um, can I build, can I, uh, purchase some more aluminium off him? Yeah. Still wants coal. We'll keep buying his aluminium so he can't build any more spaceship parts. Um, and then we'll try and nick his aluminium from his city states as well, perhaps. If he's got any. No, okay. So it doesn't look like he's getting aluminium for any, from any more city states. He's got some that we haven't met, though. Got a vote world leader for ourselves. And then, okay, robotics in three. And then we'll just bulb our remaining writers or something. Yep, scientist. We need to birth one, do we? Okay, bit weird. Not sure what all that's about, actually, why we haven't birthed a scientist this turn. I guess next turn in Athens. In my... Hopefully we get one more. No for the research agreement. Victory progress. Haroon has three parts. Scientist born now in Athens. So we'll take robotics. And then we'll move. We only need to get telecoms and mobile tactics because we've got Oxford University saved. Sleep that. Oh, we've got mobile Sam now. Okay. We give that away to Budapest yet? Not yet. Let's make a proposal. Uh, something fairly innocuous again, like nuclear non-proliferation. So don't get nuked, perhaps. <laughs> Let's move the mobile Sam over here and just sleep it. Where are we at? Okay, we've got, actually got Big Ben, so purchasing spaceship parts is cheaper than usual. We need to finish rations and we can finish it this turn. Let's get nanotechnology. That allows us to buy one part, which we can do. And then we can just push this through. We'll try and get some more gold with it or something, perhaps. And then we... Yeah, we're about seven turns away from finishing our slowest part. Maybe eight if we're unlucky, but we can actually... You know, we can't really afford to purchase a spaceship factory. Seven turns is until this last scientist anyway, and I'm imagining we'll need it. But we can buy our two faith scientists now. And so we can assess where we are. So let's put this on. Let's buy our faith scientists. Are we actually, oh, we're not quite there yet. We can buy one though. And then the other one comes in four turns. Five turns. It's a shame we couldn't build the Grand Temple. We need to claim Budapest back. 40 influence needed with them. We're going to give them another unit in this mobile sat. I can't believe I accidentally dropped a thousand gold on that city state when I could have done all of this gifting and it would have been so easy for them. We need 10 in Singapore now. So, Singapore, you will get a caravel. And we've got this scientist in Corinth. Away we go. Let's just, yeah, automatic purchase this thing. Make sure we don't forget. Yep, so we've got two scientists in four and five turns, so we'll be done then. We need to make sure this stays at five, I guess. Yeah, we're definitely done then. Cool. It's actually not going to go too badly. As long as Harun al-Rashid doesn't beat us there. Okay, we've lost um, another city-state. It's Ormus. We're 11 behind. Uh, we've got this Berber cavalry in Gnosis that we can give to Ormus. We could really do with making sure that this stays low. We need to also make sure we get as much cash as we possibly can. Oh, we're not allies with this guy anymore. Okay, good. We're, out, we're, we're friends with Harren. So that's all we needed. So we can get all the cash we need when we need it. We should probably just buy like 3,000 gold off him now. 
in my... Yeah, let's do that. We need 3,000 gold off him. I want to deal with you. There we go. Just in case he, like, wars us. We need to build a spaceship factory in one of our cities. What do you want for that? 127 and dies? Okay. Does that work? 130 and dies. 135 and dies? Okay. That allows us to purchase a spaceship factory over there in Knossos. Let's try our best to make sure this stays down. In two turns. We've got plenty of extra there. Plenty of extra there now. Done there. Done there. We've got the gold for the last part. So we just need the science. So what do we do? So in three turns, we need to finish Oxford. Right, because we've got telecoms, mobile tactics, and then this thing. And we can use two scientists to punch through this final tech. The mobile tactics. Yeah, so we've got mobile tactics. So the two scientists that come will punch through mobile tactics, and then we'll Oxford particle fizz. So that's when we need to time Oxford. Make sure this comes down in one turn. I think we're good. So, yeah, so this comes out, but it's a faith purchase, which means that we have to wait until the next turn to use it. Same with this scientist. But we need to be building Oxford. Yeah, so next turn we have to use it. Unfortunately, it's two turns on Oxford now. We can't put any of these parts on, but that's okay. They can just wait right outside. Golden Age ended. Uh, we've actually got everything we need. I can train some more gold, I guess. Um, nuclear non-proliferation. I think that was a mistake. We lost a turn there. They see it. But we're nearly here now. Five turns on that research agreement. We might have actually lost a turn for just being pointless. We're not pre-building Oxford. It might. We had overflow last turn, but we could have taken research out and like done done a walls or something. Yeah, because we should have been Oxfording this turn. And instead we're Oxfording next turn. Oh well. So it should have been turn 194, instead it's going to be turn 195. We've got this XCOM squad. Um, we still didn't manage to gain an alliance with Singapore. Gift away the trireme. And I guess we'll research Particle Fizz, even if we're going to Oxford it. That was unfortunate. We really could have uh, done better with Oxford there. Let's hope Haroon doesn't beat us. He's actually only got four parts because we bought all of his aluminium. <laughs> I do like that, actually. It's something that I only just discovered, like, last game we played, but buying the AI's aluminium so they can't build the spaceship. Pretty troll. It works. Particle Fizz, there we go. Turn 194. Purchase the final spaceship part of the spaceship engine. We're working research. We can sleep this thing. And send this cargo away for production to current. Choose our research. We'll just click on Stealth, even though we don't need it. Okay, so this Empire. Interesting game. Oh, we actually lost Budapest. Should we like pay for them to make it look like they're our ally for the end of the game? I guess. Oh man, we were close to losing here. Haroon had 5 out of 6. There we go, look. We look like we've got all the city state allies for the, for the end of the game. Let's just, just, just... Okay, sleep this for a second. So, okay. We'll wrap up this game here. It's going to be a turn 195 science victory as Greece. Interesting game. We spawned in here in this just random isolated peninsula all, all on our own, really. Um, but that had its strengths and its benefits. The wall of city-states meant that we never really got interfered with with AI. However, having to manage all this land by ourselves, we got absolutely wrecked by barbarians. And we didn't really have any good expansions. I mean, you know, we take our capital, which is pretty cool. Like, our capital is obviously nice to, st you know, to stone. It's for production tiles in the end, a horse, yeah, end up with an oil, an iron, a coal. Our capital is actually pretty cool. I really liked our capital. Um, but Sparta here, really flat, no production whatsoever. It had some food in the early game, but it just had no production. 
which meant we had to send it a production caravan, not a food caravan. It's an absolute shame. And then here in Corinth, absolutely had no food whatsoever, like one food tile. We had to put farms down on here. We had to send that a food trade route the entire game and just work all these production hills. So again, not great. And these had to be our initial three X bands because we had a barb camp spawn right in here. And that meant that there was just no way we were going to get any X bands off in this position. But also, we actually only had three unique luxuries inside our cities. So we were dyes as our regional, whales and marble. And that was it. Three unique luxuries inside our whole, inside our cities. So we could only really go for a three city opener to make that work. You can open four, four cities on three luxuries. It does work. Um, but again, we would have done it except for the fact that we were just being swarmed by barbarian, barbarians. We had a camp here. We had a camp there. Probably actually right up there, in fact. And we had a camp here. All annoying us. You know, all sending their, bar their barbarians directly into us, preventing us from settling our cities, using our workers. So we had to build two chariot archers. We had to build a hot plate. We had to build extra scouts. Um, it was a really, really difficult early game. Um, something that was kind of cool that we did is that we got to like turn 72 and we were about to build our national college or something ridiculous like that. We discovered that hanging gardens were still available, so we built it. Um, and that was really helpful. That was pretty clutch for us because, I mean, not only is hanging gardens for culture and six food, which is actually a pretty cool building, but... You know, it gave us six food, which meant that we didn't have to send a cargo to our capital and that we could afford to send a cargo to our other cities because every one of our expansions needed a cargo ship to even function. Argos and Nossos settled late, needed food caravans in order to grow. And again, look, I mean, these tiles, again, like, you know, is that they just absolutely needed help and we had to give it to them. So we had to send one caravan to Argos, one to Nossos, one to Corinth for food because all these three cities needed help to grow. And even then, look, 17, 17, 19. And then Sparza had no production whatsoever, so we had to send them a cargo ship for production in order to make it worthwhile. So we, it was an absolute must to send cargoes to all four of these. And of course you need to send one to your capital so that it can actually grow. So that was all five. And so we couldn't send a second one to our capital whatsoever. So Hang Gardens turned out to really clutch. We delayed our National College by about eight turns for it. Um, but I think it helped us in the end more than hindered. I mean, the National College, Slow National College, is part of why this game ended on turn 195. The other reason is just because we had 100 pop across five cities and we got there really late is the other one because we had to settle two expands after the NC. And again, like it's really clutch for the hanging gardens because, you know, if we needed to use all five trade routes, which we did, it requires you to get banking. And again, our slow tech meant that we got to banking and compass pretty late. So what hanging gardens allowed us to do is, you know, it's effectively an extra trade route. Um... In, at the point in the game when we only had three or four, which was again really, really clutch for us. We did manage to get Sistine Chapel. We actually built a few wonders, surprisingly, in this game, depending on how, you know, considering how behind we were in tech. Hanging Gardens, Big Ben, and the Sistine Chapel were the wonders we built, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we got like a couple of wonders, had this empire. Difficult start, but we managed to play through it, made it work. We, got, we actually settled a lovely canal. Love settling a canal. I mean, look at Argos, it's a ridiculous city. Hill, 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 hill cheap on a hill like what a, what a ridiculous city and it's a canal of all things then we got Nossus here for Sraprada that helps us a bit so we actually went five cities on three luxuries within our borders Sraprada gives you two happiness so that helped and then we got a horse in our capital so we got a circus here that helped a little bit too um but really you know the if you're thinking about going um I mean one of the most important things I think when you're thinking about the cities that you how many cities you can found is the trade that you think you can get um, so in our game, we figured that we were going to be peaceful the whole game because we were just super isolated. There weren't any AIs to covet our lands and coveting your lands is usually what determines war and sort of aggression and stuff. Apart from, the, I guess, the Maya who we built a wonder that they liked. <laughs> yeah, we only built three wonders the whole game. In fact, it was two wonders. We only had Sistine Chapel and um, Hang Gardens when we built, when this came up. Um, but yeah, so figuring we would be friendly the whole game. Um, we could probably, you know, by settling loads of our regional luxury, that enabled us to get a trade with a lot of people. So we had five copies of dies, was it? Yeah, five copies of dies, which allowed us to get four trades with AI, but you know, luxury for luxury. And so that was really what provided us with the happiness in order to go five cities on three luxuries. Um, because, you know, typically you might expect to get maybe like three portions of trade or something and have five unique luxuries for five cities. So, you know, we, we sort of mostly replaced that trade. But again, our low pop kind of allowed us to get away with it a bit. <laughs> In terms of the happiness on oh, we we're also able to yeah and this is it as well we managed to get a duplicate whales so that gave us the extra trade so you usually expect to go five luxuries on five cities and maybe get like three to four trades and instead we went three luxuries on five cities but we were able to get five trades so that was really cool 
And so I think that is, in the end, what enabled us to go five cities on three luxuries. That, and because we were Greece, and we secured all of these city-state allies. Although, throughout most of the game, we actually only had two, and they were just giving us the whales. Um, but again, it's just kind of showing you how you could do those trades. So that was an extra trade there. So it kind of adds up in the end. You know, you expect three to four trades when you're going five cities and five luxuries. And we actually got, what was it? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six trades um, on five cities for three. So it all balances out in the end. So that extra trade that we were able to get allowed us to do five cities on three luxuries when, um, you know, in, so that we didn't have to need five on five. And these five cities, they absolutely saved us. There is no way we were going to win this game by turn 195 on this three city empire. Like, okay, maybe we send more food to Corinth and more food to Sparta or something. But like, you know, there's just not the population coming out of Sparta, Corinth and Athens in order to really like just have enough in the end game. We needed the 34 pop that came from Nosos and Argos. And so that's what we got. And so this is where we got into the end of the game. A turn 195 science victory as Greece. We'll get ready to take the screenshot. Thank you for watching everybody who joined the script join the stream anyone who watches later on youtube thanks for watching again i uh, i will apologize for another boring science victory but you know you got to play the land that you're given and this was just a peace game um you know taking out taking out eight civs or seven seven ai civs i guess on this land that's just like total toilet i guess is probably the, the best way that i could describe it I mean, we did have decent production in the end, actually. 79, 117, 56, 82, 81. We perhaps could have gone domination into the end game, but late labs meant that we would be starting a bit late. And would we have been able to stealth XCOM everybody by turn 195? Don't know. We definitely would have had to have killed Arabia as one of the first kills. Um, but Dirty AI getting to all of the key, site, key military techs before us is not a good recipe for success with domination. We thought about diplomacy for a minute. But we only ended up getting 22 votes in the end. We we're 11 votes behind and we only had two more city states available to get. There were probably a couple that we didn't meet somewhere. Lol. <laughs> Poor China. Nanjing. Poor China. Singapore appears to have acquired Nanjing. City of Nanjing owned by Singapore. They're not, they're not even raising it, so they've just kept it. That's kind of cool. They've puppeted Nanjing. I love that. Um, but yeah, so we did contemplate diplomacy for a bit. But um, yeah, we did meet all of these city-states, right? There weren't any random city-states in the middle of the map that we didn't meet. No. We even met Mombasa. We met Budapest. Yeah, well, I mean, all the city-states, they got... A bunch of city-states got diplomatic marriage by Austria, which is why we ran out of city-states, really, in order to get the dipl diplomatic victory. We still needed 11 votes. So we could have put diplomats in everyone's cap. So realistically, we needed about, you know, these two and one more. So maybe we could have done it, actually. Maybe. Just maybe we could have done it. Um... But we didn't try it. Didn't, we didn't really think of it in time. Diplomats in all caps, to be honest. We would have done a few votes, actually. So we probably could have done Diplomatic Victory. Um, but we went for science here. Quicker, easier, kind of all on our own. Raced Arabia, bought their aluminium to stop them from being able to build the spaceship. Um, but yes, in the end, a turn 195, science turn 195 science victory on this land. Which actually I'm pretty pleased about. You know, it's... Um, it's I would expect to go below 180 on five cities. But given the difficulties we had starting this up, you know, you expect to go below 180 on something like four cities before National College, National College up turn 70, um, where you don't get balked by barbarians. So, you know, maybe this is all right. I would have hoped for below, you know, between turn 180 and one, turn 190, but this is what it is. We've still got a five city science victory as Greece. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching everyone on Twitch. Noxon says, thanks, BC. Thanks for joining, Noxon. Scott Nolly says, quick stream. GG. Yep, thanks, Scott Nolly. Yeah, it was a bit of a quick stream, actually. Um, actually a little bit slower than the previous game we played, the last one we did on stream. Um, but it is now midnight, so I do need to go to sleep, work in the morning, it is what it is. Got to join Noxon in the 9 to 5 grind. Um, and I guess everybody else that's been watching that's also doing their 9 to 5 grind. Yeah. So yes, Noxon says see ya. Yep, see you later, everyone who joined the stream. Thanks for coming today, we'll put the spaceship part on, we'll review the graphs, and then we'll, uh, we'll finish this game. So, oh, I've, I've screenshotted instead of putting the part on, we'll put the part on now. There we go, Alexander has won. Doesn't look like we're going to get a good screenshot, so we're going to do another one. Take this game. And then we go check the demos. Um, second science. Arabia actually pretty much took all of the text. Pretty crazy. Um, they just went absolutely insane. Perhaps we can see how many cities they went in the end in just a minute. Um, you know, fifth in soldiers in the end for us, miles behind Austria. Third in manufactured goods, 374 production. It's actually quite a good number. Not bad. We go to the replay to check out these graphs. 
so yes, we got this grass. So we can look at our Greek score, fairly average. Um, you know, goal per turn, city connections, quite good. Deals, we're always losing money. That's generally a feature of our play. Culture per turn, we actually had decent culture in the end. Um, we got there, we had just enough. That was that culture ally. Again, it's just all Greece. We definitely use Greece's ability to its full extent here. If we weren't Greece, we would never have won this game anywhere near as quickly. Military, yeah, we, we actually gifted away military at the end of the game. There's our number of cities. Yeah, we got to five quite late. Number of workers. We actually made our way up to quite a few workers in the end. We built a few too many, but it was kind of good. And then there's us sort of squeezing our way to 100 pop. This is not the shape that we would ever want this graph. We would want to be at 100, like right back here, perhaps. But instead, we had to sort of eke our way out to 100 all the way through the game. Hammers per turn. We had good hammers. Once we got those cities going, they were definitely good in hammers. And, you know, we spent a bit in unit maintenance, but we started gifting stuff away. Let's check the maps. So we can sort of play this and see how it all rolls out. So there's our city in here. You can see when we sort of spray cities out. Here's Arabia, the game leader. Three cities. So there we go. We got our second. We got our third. Turn 40. Arabia goes up to four cities now. Five cities for Arabia. We plonk one down about turn 80, perhaps. Now it's like seven cities already. Yeah, we actually planted our cities turn 85 and turn 90. So again, that's really late. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cities for Arabia now already. So Arabia is going eight cities. It looks like about like nine cities in the end. It's like a nine city sim from Arabia. Planted one over there. Ten cities. If they grab any more. And we had our five cities. Again, they were quite late. Turn 85 and turn 90 are late post-National College expands. I'm usually looking to plant those cities about turn 75 to turn 80. 85 to 90 is really slow. And it's again just a symptom of how slow our start is. And that's because we had to build our National College on like turn... I don't know, was it turn like 82, 83 or something? Because we built the Hanging Gardens first. But we weren't really ready to build those settlers sooner anyway. But yeah, we had we had to spend some time getting them over. So that was that. And we'll hit just wait just one more turn. So we can count Arabia's cities. 11 in the end they went for. 174 population. That's crazy. 447 population. Austria. 27 cities. 447 population. That is insane. 29 pop Almaty. Chengdu, Graz, Guangzhou, Beijing is in here, Zhang, Salzburg, Vienna, Linz, all this stuff, Palenque. They almost killed the Maya. 447 population. They didn't even build Temple of Artemis. Crazy. Anyway, thanks for the game. Thanks for watching everybody who's going to be watching later on YouTube. Thanks for watching everybody who is with me on Twitch today. It's always great to have your company. If you did watch on YouTube, do remember to post any comments. You have, you know, you have anything about the game, or you just want to ask for an advice. You know, want to ask about why I did some of these things in the game. Feel free to post in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, if you just have some general comments, you can post some comments too. Always welcome. Um, do like and subscribe in the YouTube channel if you did enjoy the content. It lets me know that this is good. You know, all the likes that we've been getting on the stream uploads so far have been telling me that I need to do more stream uploads. So if that's what you want to see, you can give the video a like. I'll know to upload more stream uploads then. Um, and yeah, if you enjoy my content in general, the subscribers always help. helps bring more people to the channel. Um, you know, helps keep this channel going really, so that's quite good. Um, anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you next time.